There we go. And they can all hear you now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> uh, and welcome to the Road to El Toro, yeah. a Saturday D&D game here on Carpe DM Live, uh, which I realized when I checked Twitter uh, that the tweet <laughs> says Cap Ray DM Live on Twitter. That summarizes how these sessions go anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. So we're all doing great. Um, <clears throat> Is that my tweet? Yeah, <laughs> no edit button on Twitter. <laughs> um, so thank you all for joining us uh, on this absolutely ludicrous game that we play every Saturday. Uh, last time on the road to El Toro, uh, our group was split up uh, between a, a group in a town called Skrnabel, the city of caravans and a group in a small farming town just north of Skernabel, Triel, uh, which is a small farming uh, community. Uh, the group in Skernabel, which consists of our cleric Reyna, our rogue Snipe, uh, our monk Hattie, and our paladin Hera, uh, they were working on investigating a series of murders uh, for the Church of Il Mater. Uh, which appeared to have some connection to the Church of El Mater, based on the red rope that was used to bind the victims before they were apparently thrown into the river. Uh, they were able to garner some clues from the dead body of one of the victims, our cleric cast speak with the dead, which caused a little bit of trouble uh, with the clerics and priests of the cloister, um, but nothing that wasn't able to be kind of smoothed over for the most part. And they were also able to talk to the town guard, uh, who gave them a little more information, specifically that uh, the most recent victim is from the Estragon League, a caravan coming up from the Lake of Steam, which is still in town and available to talk to. After that, they went to the Bloody Oak Tavern, which is where our rogue Snipe uh, wanted to go while they were in town, uh, because it seemed to be connected to the missing half of themselves. Um, a demon that was bound to them that was keeping them alive and which was forcibly pulled away from them uh, in a magical accident several sessions back. Uh, and they are currently trying to get that other half of them back and the Bloody Oak may be a key to that. Meanwhile, up in Triel, uh, Seymour, our warlock, and uh, Kaya, our bard, uh, found themselves first meeting a paladin by the name of Sir Amarcos. Uh, traveling with him until they were attacked on the road by a group of cultists, and Sir Amarcos was led away into the hills by a warlock. Um, whenever they got to the town of Triel, uh, Seymour was able to be healed from the uh, feeble mind that he received from the warlock <laughs> on the road uh, by a healer named Citrone Harpel who revealed to our uh, party members that the warlock was in fact her wife, who is currently bound to a dark vestige uh, that she was trying to unbind her from uh, so that they could not have to deal with the fallout of uh, sacrificing one of the paladins of Eltero uh, to a dark vestige. Uh, to that end, Seymour and Kaya helped City come up with a plan of how to proceed, who was going to do what, what was going to happen once they got there, and today we are going to see how that plan shakes out. It's been nice knowing you, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. I'm sure we're going to abandon the plan. We had a good run. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you guys do. And actually, today we are going to be starting uh, with that plan. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So, oh, oh no! <laughs> sit back and relax, everyone. <laughs> oh, uh, so Seymour and Kaya, uh, you know that City has prepared uh, essentially a bucket, uh, which has a hallowed spell in the bottom of it. Uh, the point is that there is a skull which is linked to the power of the vestige, which she wants to throw into the bucket to trigger the hallowed spell. Uh, but she can't do it until she knows where her wife Sybil is, because Sybil has to be in the Hallow spell whenever it goes off. Uh, Kaya suggested creating a fake skull using a, a few spells, uh, which is the current plan of action. 
and uh, <laughs> you guys are basically on a stealth mission. Uh, so City made up some healing potions, which she has with her. Uh, she gave one to Seymour and one to uh, Kaya. So both of you uh, can take a, I believe it's a superior healing potion. So it's 44 plus, uh, 44 plus four. Plus four. Ooh. That's like half my health. That's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. She's good at what she does. Uh, she's got, she, she knows what's up, you know? Um, so she gives one of those to each of you to be used at your discretion. Uh, Seymour, you also have a spell scroll that gives you a shield spell should you need it. Uh, and uh, you guys uh, have rode up to the tree, Elta Hills. Um, so City has kind of led the way. She kind of knows this area at least enough to know the general direction of where you guys need to be. And uh, you guys are going to be entering uh, through the hills, through a forested patch where you guys are going to get close. So on the roll 20 map. Yeah, right. uh, yeah we can look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys can absolutely take a look at this. Sweet. Uh, by the way, Jax, going to... I need to yes. make sure everyone knows you made this map. It's dope. It's really good, dude. It's yes. So cool. uh, I made the map, and uh, I will also take this time to unveil a few characters. So, of course, we have uh, Kaya, our bard. Uh, we have Seymour, our warlock. And to be revealed from the GM layer. <laughs> <laughs> we have City Harpel. Good old City. And she will be traveling along with you guys. Sophie, this artwork's so dope, dude. Yes, uh, so all of the artwork for the NPCs is done by Soph. It is all excellent. It's super cool. Uh, and I'll post pictures after the session today so that you guys can get a closer look at it because it's, it's so uh, really awesome artwork. <clears throat> so uh, you all are entering from the south side of this glade. So basically, as you enter in, there's a lot of heavily forested areas. You see the flickering of a torchlight in front of you, sort of through the trees. You can get glimpses of this sort of stone edifice that's in the middle of all of this. Um, around you are sort of hills. So on the map, you can see these sort of rocky edges. Those are sort of the, the layers of the hills coming up around you. So you're entering into a, a valley. And as you do, uh, I'd like for you all to make perception checks. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Perception's bucked by strong suit. Oh no, that's a 10. <laughs> uh, I rolled better. Let's see, that's, what's my perception? Plus three, 19. 19, okay. Um, all right, so 10, you can definitely clock the people in front of you see more through the trees, for sure. Okay. Um, so basically you see uh, two people dressed in the, the red robes of the people who attacked you on the road. So you can definitely clock these people as probably part of the same group that attacked you. You see that one of them, which is the one on the the left side, because I'm terrible with directions, <laughs> um, the one on the left side is wearing one of those bone masks that you saw on the road. Mm -hmm. The same type of bone mask that the person wielding the dagger uh, who created the ghouls was wearing. Okay. Uh, the one on the right appears to just be a person in a red robe. Uh, the circles that you can see there, those indicate the torchlight. So everything in the yellow circle is bright light. Uh, everything in the paler circle is dim light. You guys are hidden because you're in the trees and the dim light kind of like is shaded by the trees. So you guys are cool where you are. But if you move to the edge, then you'll have to start You'll have to really oh, work to hide. So that's what the circles are for. I see. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you also see, and Kai, you see this too, um, another figure that appears to be leaning up against this altar. Sir Amarcos. Handsome bastard. 
What yes, a handsome indeed. bastard that person is. <laughs> uh, and he is leaning up. He's actually facing away from you. He's propped up against the altar on the other side, but you can see his hair. Um, and you recognize his general build from the back as that as being Sir Amarcos. And sitting on the altar in front of you, you see this stone platform surrounded by these three taller edifices uh, that appear to be, they, they appear to be painted in some way. Uh, the writing on them appears to be like overdone with red paint. Um, I don't believe any of you speak abyssal. So uh, you can't recognize what is being, what has been written on the stone. Uh, but you do recognize that it's definitely not what was there originally. This is like graffiti on top of whatever was there. And uh, sitting on top of this stone table, there is a book, uh, a dagger, and an, and in between them, the skull with that sort of shadowy quality around it. Um, the eyes are dim, so unlike on the road, they aren't shining with that red light that Sybil used against you. Um, but it is sort of surrounded by that shadowy aura that you've seen before. Kaya, uh, you rolled a 19, which is pretty good. So I'm just going to check something real quick for you. Uh, you have 60 feet of dark vision, right? Uh, yep. Let me check, but I'm pretty sure that's Why right. am I nervous, Sir Janks? I'm so incredibly I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. I'm, I'm hardly <laughs> ever I nervous playing this game. You really should be. <laughs> Okay. Shit. Yep. So 60 feet of dark vision. Okay, so you you see pretty much you clock everything that Seymour has clocked. Um but you are very aware of the fact that uh there are paths that are going off to the left and the right and uh far on the on the far side of whatever these shrines are, you can see like uh a break in the trees sort of leading away. Uh, behind the shadows of the stones. Um, the torch is right in the middle of this shrine. And so the stones and the table are casting these long shadows into the trees. Uh, and you see that the, the cultist that's wearing the mask, uh, the mask has a red glow about the eyes. And this cultist is just staring at the shrine and just keeping tabs on the shrine. Uh, so go ahead and roll me some initiative, you two. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, okay. I don't want to go first at all. Me neither. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I rolled low. I rolled high. Oh, Yay. 20. 30, 20. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So. I've never uh, wanted to roll low like this before. Same here. <laughs> Let's see. So I'll plan, I'll plan, these folks. Our plan was to take these out silently, right? <laughs> uh, I think our plan, fuck, our plan was, I was kind of hoping there was going to be more cultists, but to disguise ourselves as cultists, go in, pretend we're part of the ritual, switch, switch out the skulls, and then put the skull in the bucket, and then fight. But kill them first. Kill them, disguise ourselves, be part of the ritual. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm okay. down. <laughs> I'm okay with this. You're not so prepared for this. I'm so oh proud. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> you had no commitment to the plan at all. I, I nope. messaged Naomi like last week. Hey, we got a plan. And there was like, we didn't. That conversation ended <laughs> no at reply. that point. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I did reply. Okay. Did you? <laughs> yes, I oh. did. You never replied. Okay. <laughs> send, it's a sending <laughs> spell. It constantly gets delayed. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, guys. I can't wait to see how this goes for you. It's so, the Eltero curse. Uh, Eltero curse. Kaya, you are going to go first in this initiative. Um, so you are you're hanging out uh, on the edge there. Each of these squares that you can see is five feet. Um, what is it that you would like to do? You're still in the trees uh, and far enough away that you don't have to make a stealth check right now. But if you move forward, you might have to make a stealth check. Sorry, can you hear that background noise? I, I can. I can hear background noise. I apologize for that. Sadly, I am in a dorm room. It's all good. Other people. It's all good. It's just cultists. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just cultists. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm gonna look at Seymour. Okay. 
two ideas. Either I disguise myself now and I figure out a way to bring one of them to us so that we can take them down. Or option two, I use phantasmal force to create something that only one of them can see so that they go towards it. But I don't know what I would create in that instance. So you want to bring them to us? Yes. I, I can use thaumaturgy and make a noise in the bush so they can slowly come to us. Yes, but then all of them could hear it. I could use Phantasmal Force and only have one of them hear it. But why would they not follow the person who's randomly walking away? What do you mean? So if one person walks away, we're not going to just sit there and let it happen, are they? No, that's true. And they could fail it, right? They, they could, sorry, succeed it. But they'd yes. know something happens. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't actually know if they would know probably they would probably know <laughs> yeah I can check out for you uh, let's see mm. that's more force it's a good plan if it goes well I'm so nervous y'all me too I don't <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Well, now you know how Snipe feels being so close to death. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise, I disguise myself immediately and try to trick them into, or try, try to trick one of them into following me. But I'm not sure how I would do that. It, uh, Phantasmal Force doesn't actually specify that they know that a spell oh, okay. has been cast on them. Um, so if it doesn't specify, I'd say they don't know that the spell was cast, because usually it says that they know if they don't. <clears throat> I'm cool with that plan then. Okay, so what illusion should I create that would cause one of them to walk away? A sound so for them to check out? A, an image of, a, of another cultist that they would want to talk to? I think that it would be dangerous to make a second cultist. Okay. Maybe make the bush near them sort of shake with a little bit of noise, like someone's trying to sneak behind it. We want them to come to us though, so yeah. we should create a noise kind of probably to the right of where we are, they walk in, we take them down. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, and he, so... Am I okay just while this is going on just to draw my blade? I was gonna say it before we roll initiative. Yeah, I'm fine with you have already having your blade drawn. Thank you. Um, I, I want you to make me an insight roll, please. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll make an insight roll. I would join in, but I'm a negative two with insight, so now I'm good. <laughs> I have proficiency because of my cards. Hell yeah, you do. Well, uh, Why didn't I make a deal with the hags? I made a deal, <laughs> I made a deal with the hags. only a 14. 14? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so between the two cultists, right? Something is definitely going on with the one wearing the mask. Didn't they say um, we were connected with the masks last session? Yeah, City told you that they that the masks gave them something. She she didn't know what the mask gave them, but they gave them some power. So with a 14 insight, you can recognize that the red glow in the mask is the same as the red glow of the skull. So whenever Sybil attacked you on the road, it had red glowing eyes. That is the same glow that is currently in this mask that is not in the skull right now. Okay, so does that mean that whatever forces in the skull is currently looking through him? I it suppose it would, be. Be, it would be safer for us to go with the other cultists then. Okay, right? yeah, okay. I'll hear that. So Kaya will do that. She'll use her action to cast Phantasmal Force on the one not wearing the mask in order to make it sound like there's like sounds or footsteps or something coming from kind of to the, to the right. I hate that Janks is like nodding his head, by the way. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> So that he'll come forward. And then um, Kaya will kind of motion Seymour to get into position to surprise attack him once he... So, so I'm moving to the right, yeah? Okay. Yes. So I'll, I'll be um, scooching... Well, it's not my turn, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. All right. So it's... <coughs> it's an intelligence check, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's a saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. Yep. Saving throw, right. Okay. Uh, is awesome. That's a four. Yes, um, okay. Good start. Okay. So he hears uh, footsteps, a sound in the bush. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, okay, so, uh, did you hear that? Uh, it sounds, sounds like there might be something in the bush. <clears throat> uh, and you, the other cultist, um, doesn't respond to him. <laughs> It is fucking creepy whenever you wear that mask. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, I'm I'm gonna go check if you want to. No, nothing. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I don't want to kill this guy. He seems cool. <laughs> we'll get distracted. It's fine. Is there uh, <laughs> is there anything else you want to do? Yeah, Kai will use her movement. Well, Kai's going to use her bonus action to give uh, Seymour some bardic inspiration, just like a thumbs up. Uh, and then is going to use her movement to move kind of where she made the no A little bit off from where she made the noise, because she's going to let Seymour take initiative, but close enough to, you know, stab him afterwards if he's still kicking. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, do you want to have made the noise closer to the cultist? Yeah, I, I want to have made the noise somewhere in the, the tree line where they wouldn't be able to see it. You would only be able to hear it. Uh, so close enough to us that, you know, other people aren't going to spot it when we kill him. So you're saying you want it in the darkness because it's dark, dim, and then light. Are you in dim light? Or are you uh, on yeah, the Kai's going to stay in darkness. Kai's going to stay in darkness. But yes, that's kind of perfect right there. Okay, that. Okay, okay. And you have 30 feet, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll we'll have sixty uh, feet dark vision. Okay, sixty feet dark vision, thirty feet movement. All right, cool. So we will uh, we'll we'll leave Kai there then. Um, okay. Next up will be city. I rolled so low. Let's see. <laughs> what does city want to do? We do have a plan. Uh, it hasn't okay, so yet gone to shit. City has her bucket with her. I feel like uh, I feel like those eyes are like true sight, where we're gonna be able to see through illusions. Yeah. I'm so nervous about that. If it is, I mean, this plan has already been doomed from the start. We're just gonna have to go for it. Hey, I'm all, like, I'm all for swinging my sword, dude. Let's see, City. Let's see. Fuck, why am I nervous? I'm not nervous. City, City will turn to see more. Uh. Is it possible after you, after you kill that cultist, draw off the one with the mask? We cannot get to the skull if the one with the mask is looking at it. I do not think. Do you have something to distract the other guy with? I. Um... You say a little bit further away than usual because <laughs> you wouldn't move. <laughs> Right. This This is very dangerous. No shit. If if he sees me if he sees me it's game over. Then he will know that something is wrong. Why if he have sees said something before I cast Phantasmal Force, I would have just cast it onto the other guy. I <laughs> <laughs> Because that is also dangerous. He has the he has the vestige in his eyes. <laughs> uh, if I think what no what you what you did was right, um, but if he sees me, he will know that I I have come to rescue Sybil. If he sees the two of you, you are just two people who have wandered into a dangerous situation. I'm I'm okay being a distraction if I if I'm drawing that person away. I'm okay. He will take care of this okay. person who's slowly walking, it seems, because we're having this conversation and he's still taking his time. Um <laughs> <laughs> and, well, uh, someone has to take him down. I don't have that sort of power. So City, if you can take him down and then Seymour can be the distraction, that's fine with me. But someone has to take him down because he's slowly approaching us, so let's hurry this up. Okay. <laughs> take him down. Uh and she will use her action to turn invisible <clears throat> fuck yeah <laughs> uh -ba 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 so she will vanish uh 
And then it is the enemy's turn. Of course it is. So, his enemy. Uh, he's going to come to investigate. Says, All right. Would keep... it kind of, sorry, would it kind of work like Seymour's readying an attack and could attack him once he's I him? haven't moved in position, though, because we're doing an That's initiative. True. I haven't moved, yeah. so I'm not there to attack yet. I rolled shit, unfortunately. <laughs> So what basically what it'll be is he'll he'll be doing an active perception check on Seymour's turn, and then if Seymour can stealth better than his perception, then Seymour can get a surprise attack. I'm on not him. I'm not too bad on my stealth. On Phantasmal Force, um, he can roll an investigation check for his action to try to discern what Phantasmal Force is, or if it's an illusion. Just okay. Just put that out there. Um. Okay. So he <laughs> he's going to say. Just keep watch then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and in the woods, I need Kaya to roll me a stealth check at advantage. Uh -huh. uh, Thank you for the advantage. Very necessary. Yes, well, it's because he doesn't have dark vision, so he can't see beyond, he can't see well beyond the light of the torches. And uh, Seymour, you're still a little too far away from him for okay. him to actually be able to perceive you. So. Sure, sure. Thank God for my plus six to stealth. Uh, it's a fifteen because I rolled a two and a nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he gets a ten. Okay, so he's he's just looking. He's uh he's just looking. It's like um you hear him rustling through the bushes just trying to find something, finding nothing. And uh it is now Seymour's turn. And oh. Seymour, you do have Finibris with you and he's acting on your turn. <laughs> oh. I could get Finibris to go after the other dude. Or distract the other dude at least. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's what I'll, I'll tell Let's Finibus first to do. take this one out and yeah. then worry about the dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. so I'm just going to... I will find a token for him. Uh, you just, I'll just send you a picture of Finn, and then we'll, we'll just do it like that. I'll, make, I'll give you a Finn token. How about that? <laughs> okay, if you can make a Finn token. I'll make a Finn token for you. Um, so, so, yeah, Seymour's going to turn to Finn, Finnebris and just be like, just wait, and then he's going to sneak up uh, and just try to... Oh, man, I think I took them out in two goes. I think. It was something like that. But I'm just going to attack. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Uh, so on your movement to move up to this guy, I need you to roll a stealth check. Oh, that's not bad. Um, uh, 19. 19. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely like stealth up on this guy. He's Thank God. looking in the bushes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll be taking two swipes at him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck, dudes. Oh, fuck. If you don't kill him, use the dog to kill him. And then you can use yep, 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 the yep. guy later. <laughs> okay, first one should hit. Yeah, definitely hits. Uh, unless they're fucking powerful. 22 to hit. 22? That'll definitely hit. Uh, I'll roll my second one to see if it hits as well. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Natural All 20. Right. I thought it was a 10. Yeah. But it was in the light. It's a natural twenty. <gasps> yes. Shit. Okay. I'm scared. Deal some damage then. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Cool. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know. I'm in. I'm in this whispery mood. Uh. So D eight plus. F I need to look at the long sort of wounding uh, thing again, Janks, if you don't mind me. Just because yes, I want to make sure. Yes. Yes. To roll right. Constitution checks. Yeah. Uh. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack using this magic, uh, weapon, you can wound the target. Um. At the start of each of the wounded creatures turns, it takes 1d4. Um, so it's okay right now. You'd have to roll until it's their turn again. Okay, well, he definitely didn't pass the constitution check. So. Okay, we'll just okay. see. Uh, so that is... First one is 11 points of uh, slashing damage. Um, Okay, um, we'll do damage when it's their turn again, Janks, for the necrotic, because that doesn't come in until it's their turn. Sure. Um, but we are considered wounded. Um, and then I 
I already hit with a natural 20, so this is going to yeah. be... So double your damage. Ah, roll bad. Um, for just nine points of slashing damage and that. That is doubling it all and all that kind of jazz. Uh, okay. But yeah, I think that's it. Hang on a second. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack, uh, you can wound the creature. Yeah, so it only gets wounded once um, okay. per round. I think I stacked it last time. I think I stacked it last time by accident, but... <laughs> It's all good. Um, okay. He's still up. So what do you want Cinebrist to do? Um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Okay. Here's a question. I don't think it's a psychic connection, right? We haven't tried this. There, There is a... There's not a psychic That's connection. That's fine. I'm just going to... Fuck it. I'm just going to whistle. I'm just going to go... Whoosh, like, that was a terrible whistle. Whoosh, there we go. Ah! Okay. <laughs> And Finibus is going to charge. I don't know what Finibus can do. Am I looking at Hellhound stats? Uh, so I actually have his stats right here. He is a sidekick. Oh. So I have his abilities right I here. Got a uh, so he can do he can do a bite. Do it. Uh, he can do a bite twice. I roll for it. Uh, Jenks, was it you who rolls for it? Yeah, go ahead and roll and then uh, add a plus seven. Plus seven. His attack. Uh, first one is 23 to hit. Okay. That will definitely hit. Oh, Sammy's a strong boy. Uh, and, um, the, and the second one is... Uh, don't think that hits at 12. Okay. Um, so on the first one, uh, that's a 23 to hit him, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Uh, so I need you to roll 2d4 plus 2, and he also fails his strength save, so he is knocked prone by Finibris. Nice. Whenever Finibris charges him. 2d4 plus 2, was it? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's 4, 6. So that's 8 on the first. 8. And then for the second, a 12 doesn't hit him, but he's prone now, so Fenebris actually gets advantage. So roll another d20. Uh, yeah, that hits. Um, 18. 18. That definitely hits. All right, so roll another 2d4 plus 2 of damage. Uh... Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. All right. Thanks. Oh, prayer. and also, uh, you're welcome. Uh, well, you can thank Fenebris. That's part of his attack. Uh, and also, uh, let me know if he rolls a 19 or a 20, because he crits on both. Um, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Finibus so uh, you sneak up on this cultist who is like looking through the bush, trying to find the source of this sound that Kai has put into his mind. And you slash him twice. Uh, just like cut him across the back. He turns around, he screams, and then you slash him again. Uh, and then Finibris, uh, this shadowy hound, comes yeah. bounding out, clamps onto his throat. He like gargles, screams even louder. And then he goes down and Finibris just tears into him uh, and uh, just destroys this cultist. Uh, so this cultist is just bleeding out, dying on the ground. Can I, like, uh, cover his mouth as a free action just to try and shut him up at all? <laughs> you can try, uh, but his scream has already been heard. Yeah, all right, that's fine. By everyone in the area. <laughs> is talking um, a free action? Yeah, talking is a free action. Can Kaya, trying to kind of mimic his voice, go, Sorry, I saw a spider. <laughs> kind of cover that. <laughs> Uh, that is that that is a little bit more than a free action. You will have to try to like convince some people of shit on your turn uh, <laughs> to get that to play. Um, but yeah, everyone uh, in the area heard that, so <laughs> a lot of cultists are now aware that there's. Let's go! Let's go! Uh, Wait, a lot of cultists? A lot of cultists, yes. Have um, Jack's had to fill this map up, dude. It's just it's teeming with cultists. You you couldn't have possibly thought there were only two cultists on that's this. What, that's what I was thinking. Map. Like, yeah, it's dream, okay. <laughs> so, uh, at the end of that turn, uh, the cultist with the match with the mask on is going to use one of his legendary actions. Yeah, has legendary actions. Are you check. fucking serious? <laughs> so I need you both. Uh, to roll stealth checks for me, please. <laughs> oh, tw <laughs> 22. 22. Oh, 21. 21. Okay. Yay. 
So the eyes turn toward the forest and you can see the glowing red eyes sweeping through the tree line. Uh, but the beams of the eyes move just past you as you duck behind trees and bushes. Uh, and the cultist does not see you yet, but his attention is drawn to this part of the forest. How, Kaya. Cl how close have we been seen then, Jenks? Okay. <laughs> He's got a pretty good perception, I had kids. A feeling. <laughs> Kaya, okay. Kaya is going to cast Disguise Self to make herself look like that cultist. And is going to give herself, um, along with the Disguise Self, like a big claw mark across her chest that's kind of bleeding, but it looks like okay. superficial. Uh, okay. And then she's going to come stumbling out of the woods and say, I, I was attacked by a wolf. That's what was making that sound. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I killed it. And she's gonna try to just walk on up to where the guy was before. Good, good shit. I like it. Okay. Okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, roll me a deception check, yeah. if you will. Gladly. 27. Nice. 27. 16 plus 11. Ooh. Good lord. Uh, yeah, um, he has a mask on, but he's only human. Uh, <laughs> he's only um, human. The, the cultist wearing the mask just kind of tilts his head to the side. Uh, and then he, he goes back to looking at the central altar and just kind of accepts what you say. But you do hear uh, the sound of other cultists, or other people, I should say, walking down the path um, to see what just happened. <laughs> um, but for now, you have gotten away with it. Is there anything else you want to do? I'm going to consider that part of your movement action. Um, yeah. Disguise um, self was maybe your action. Question, Jenks. We discussed yeah. last session that we would cast Nistel's magic ore on the on the skull before entering this area. Has that been cast yes. already? Yes, I'm gonna say that you guys cast that in the woods before we started initiative. Okay. So I'm also guessing that Kaya probably has the skull then at this point, right? The the one with the magic ore cast on it? Uh I'll let you decide right now. Did you want City to have it or did you take it with you? Well I need to switch it out, right? So I should have it, right? <laughs> Right yeah, there. you can Isn't have it. Right? Okay, I have All it. Right, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to wander up. Oh, well, that was the plan, Dude, was I'm it not? So, I'm so hyped okay. for this plan. All right. Uh, yeah, so Kaya, uh, as you wander out, uh, so you use the sky self, that's your action. Uh, you moved. Um, and as you move up, you can see more clearly Sir Amarcos. Uh, his plate mail is missing. He still has his greaves on, but his plate mail is missing. He's just wearing like his blue under tunic. He looks a little worse for the wear, but not like severely mistreated or anything. He's just sort of like propped up against this stone altar. Um, okay, so that will be your turn. Uh, against all odds, you've managed to temporarily deceive uh, these folks. So next up will be City, who's going to move. Five, ten, City, stay in the shadows. She just needs to get the bucket into range. Right? Okay. That's that's all she really has to do at this point, so that we can. Yeah, we're just... gonna we're gonna Kobe it, are we? Yeah. I, I, I respect this. <laughs> I respect we'll see Kobe. how it works. I'm totally down with it. Well, you don't see you don't see the warlock who attacked you on the road. You don't see Sybil here, so you know that. Ah oh, shit. Yeah. She won't cast the spell unless she sees where Sybil is. Um, okay, so she moves, and um, that's all she's going to do, because she's still invisible. Um, yeah, so she's going to move forward. Oh, and I forgot to say this at the top. Uh, so the forest that you're walking through is fine, but all the other patches of forest you see, those are actually difficult terrain. So if you move into any of the other patches, that's going to be difficult terrain for you guys. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so then it's going to be the turn of the enemies. So... He's fine. They're 20, fine. 30. 
How long did Bardic Inspiration last? Is it 10 minutes or one minute? Let me check. 10 minutes. Perfect. So you still have it. That's, well, uh, that's great. 5, 10. I'm also just weirdly nervous about this. I think it's the process of making a plan that makes things like yep. more nerve wracking. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's going to be there. Okay, it's going to bell. <laughs> uh, we'll do we'll do this round and then we'll do meanwhile. It's <laughs> I was going to say, that would be one hell of a cliffhanger. You're just getting pissed. Um, so, uh, all of the folks do what they're going to do. Um, yeah, uh, Kaya, you see that one cultist comes running down the path to see what's going on. The Watcher, he is going to snap his fingers and he's going to summon a spiritual weapon next to him. <laughs> yeah. Which will take the form of a sword with a hilt made of bone. Sick. How far are they from us? Uh, so the Watcher is about 35 feet uh, the cultist who came down the path is about 10 feet. Uh, and you see another cultist up the path that's about 30 feet away from you. Um, the the other two cultists haven't summoned anything. Uh, the Watcher has just summoned this, this bone weapon. Uh, but the cultist running down the path will just be like, what happened? We heard a scream. False alarm, everybody. Oh, yeah. False alarm. I was, if there was a wolf, you should be careful. There are apparently wolves roaming around this forest. That's it. I could use some healing, hey, is, though. Is everything okay? A little. Everything good? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Tim, run <laughs> run back to the cave. Uh, see if there's any sort of, of healing. Uh, see if see if we have any healer's kits. Uh, and the, uh, the one that's uh, farther up the path, he will... Um, he will turn around and he'll start running back. Thank you. Um, okay, so that's what the cultists are doing. Uh, so Seymour, it is now your turn. So I can't, I can't actually reach um, anything right now. So I'm gonna stay uh, stealth in the bushes. Um, mm -hmm. Can I hold my action? if I realize Kaya's been found out. Hold your action to do what? So when, if Kaya um, is found out, because I'm sort of relying on Kaya being deceptive right now, but mm -hmm. um, if, if Kaya's found out, like we figure out that something else is going on, I'm gonna hold my action to attack the Watcher. Okay. Um... So the way that we'd have to set that up is if someone attacks Kaya, you can attack a watcher. Yeah, so like if if they start to go at, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if they okay. start to endanger them, then yes, I go straight into it. Okay, all okay. right. So can, uh, I, can I work as far to the left while in the shadows as possible, please? Yeah, uh, do me a favor and just roll me a stealth check. Oh, I've rolled the same again, nice, 22. 22. Don't you dare. <laughs> uh, for the time being, you're going to remain hidden. Mm. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. So about there ish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and is Finnebris just coming along with you? Or. Um, Finnebris is on that side near Kaya, actually. So you know what? I'm going to keep yeah. Finnebris on that side. So if the cultist. I'm assuming I can see the cultist as well, um, DM, but you can tell me if not. Yeah, so all of uh, you can at least see the cultists that are in the circle right now because they're all in dim light. I have so you don't... Some, I'm okay, aren't I? Anyway, I can see pretty yeah. much clear. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep Finibris on the right-hand side so Kaya's covered by Finibris. I'm going to be on the left-hand side, so I'm going to go to, to the uh, the Watcher, which is a dope name. I like the Watcher as a name. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Do the distraction? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, well, we don't need a distraction right okay. now because you are, okay. you're in there. I have to swap out the skulls. It's okay. You know, that's for later. That's for later. Okay. <laughs> distraction. I'm surprised that you were able to pull off. It's fine. I just blood curdlingly <laughs> screamed because it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Bard, you know. Bard. I thought it was a good lie. Okay. <laughs> Look, you're doing fine. For now, you have them deceived. Um, okay, so that's what's going on. Um, and now we will cut over to Skarnapel. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. <laughs> You're also here today. Thank you for coming to the Saturday session. It's fine. Um, it just meant I had time to eat dinner. So thank you so much for starting with them. And I realized, like, kind of late into it, I was like, wait a second. Yo, I could be eating. So I'm so <laughs> hungry. We're, we're not dead yet, and I'm very proud of ourselves. It, you guys, spend, you guys pretty been good. We've been all right so far. 12 seconds. We're doing okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you guys in Skernabel, um you are at the bloody oak which is uh there are people performing uh mm -hmm. music is in the air uh the smell of ale is all around you that sort of bready grainy smell of ale um people are, are laughing and cheering of course terence ray burton uh the the healer that hattie talked to last session enjoying his water and the entertainment over in the corner um and uh Artius is upstairs in his room because he's tired. <laughs> and uh, uh, Hattie, the rest of the party has just walked into the tavern. Hale, okay. Reyna, and uh, Snipe have all entered the Bloody Oak. Quick clarification, did I actually get rooms? Uh, so you so you were bartending, yeah, uh, like, doing a spectacular job bartending. Yeah. So like basically the, the bartending crowd is dispersing right now. Uh, so like as they walk in, everyone's like walking away going like, man, that was impressive, right? Yeah, I helped it. I helped it. She bartends again. That was cool. <laughs> um, and the, the bartender, uh, he's basically like shaking your hands. Like if you ever want to bartend again, I'd be happy to have you behind the counter. Uh, okay. and like you're scooping up your gold. Uh, so you could be purchased. Basically what I'm saying is you could be purchasing the rooms right now from the gold that yeah. you just made. Okay. Uh, as they we have that conversation, but I don't know if whether that actually entailed actually getting it. But I will get yeah. three rooms with the tubs, please. Okay, so that will be six gold pieces uh, from what you made last week. I so. can afford that now. Hell yeah! Uh, so you you pay the bartender the gold pieces, um, <clears throat> six rooms right up. He'll reach under the counter and get you three keys. Uh, and you guys walking in, you just see Hattie like behind the counter with a pile of gold. You hear like murmurs about a really cool bartending show that just happened. And uh, you see her like getting three keys off the bartender behind the bar. Seems like we missed something. Hmm. Well, yeah, you know, just the in. normal. Just, just the normal? <laughs> what did you do? I'm curious. I, I like... was bartending. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't scratch anything. Her? Yeah, Are you friends with her. One of the best bartenders. I, like, she said that she's never done this before. I don't believe her. Okay, I think you found your new profession when the whole new thing, <laughs> candle keep thing, doesn't whoa, work whoa, out. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean when? <laughs> oh, you're candle keep. Oh, oh, that's impressive. Yeah, I'm candle keep. Yeah, I do it with books all the time. Good sure. Sure. Barkeep as well. Yeah. Well, hey, if you ever want to get out of those books and get behind the bar, I'm here for it. Okay. Hey guys, uh, they have bathtubs here. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Did you get? Did you get rooms with bathtubs? Of course. What? Wait, who do you think I am? Of course I did. I haven't had a bath in ages. I stink, guys. How many rooms did you get? One for each. I'm gonna hand the keys over. I you just like climb three. up onto the bar and We're jump down. Oh, <laughs> I forget <laughs> the other key. <laughs> okay, four. Two four. more gold pieces. Uh, <laughs> Hera will just take. Hera will just take the key off you and uh, just say thanks, uh, and she'll just head upstairs <laughs> to her room. 
Did something happen? Um, no. Yeah, well, we, we talked to the Watch. Uh, we had a conversation with the, the person who leads this entire investigation. Okay. With the murders. I think we should grab a table and have a drink first. I made a friend as well. Okay. I, I points, the cloister? <laughs> and he points to a healer across the room. You see that he's like a younger guy. Well, he's like in his mid thirties and uh, he has uh, a, a red cord wrapped around his knee and you see he has like a prosthetic leg below the knee. But it, other than that, he's just wearing like the same robes as, as the healers from the cloister. Sweet. Sipping on water, okay. enjoying the, the, the current like fiddle band that's playing on the stage. A friend from the cloister. Okay. Yeah, I just I just made the uh, fun fact. Apparently, nothing like this has ever happened before on any kind of scale. And it turns out, if you suggest that people are murderers, they don't like that. Okay, I don't blame them. No, but we're friends, so it's fine. <laughs> let's grab a drink and let's sit at the table because we need to talk about some stuff. Mm. What's your poison? Uh, oh, Hattie, apparently you're a new expert at this bar. What should we be drinking? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps you on the back and says, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Uh, and Almost he actually falls begins. what I'm standing on. <laughs> <laughs> pour pour he, something you like, Hattie. Something I like? Okay. <laughs> Is that like a really, really cheap, horrible whiskey? Yeah, there's 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 like bottom shelf whiskey. There's uh, there's gin. There's vodka. There's absinthe. Um, there's um, yeah, any kind of alcohol that you're looking okay. for. He stocks at this bar. Is there like mixes as well? Yeah, there's mixes. Okay, so Hattie's gonna get like two shots of like the horrible below the bottom shelf whiskey. <laughs> um, okay. Some shots of that. Some shots of gin. Some shots. Brings of out the flannels into a glass. <laughs> <laughs> like all of the like the really, not all of them, but like three or four awful spirits. A couple of shots of each, mm -hmm. and then just like whatever mix that she grabs first. Oh, no. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is what we used to make when. Um, we were hiding from the, the people at the orphanage. Um, they had really lax um, kind of security around the back of the local inn. So we we snuck in and we, we had to make sure that we took little bits of alcohol from everything. So everything went down equally. Otherwise they'd noticed that one of the drinks had gone down a lot. As the record is a DM, I don't expert. support children drinking <laughs> cement mixers, but okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you wanted bathtubs now. Apparently, you're an expert in moonshine. Yeah. Well, Look, I'll, I'll try it, but. By the way, I also do not support children drinking. <laughs> I'm talking about like the 16 year old orphanage guys who are basically just waiting to age out of the orphanage. I'm not talking like. Do you want a spade? <laughs> do you want a spade while you're digging yourself out, buddy? I'm just. No, Please. I'm just picturing. Can you get I'm me just a picturing digger? like. A seven-year-old Hattie who's just like, <laughs> yeah, let's mix a little bit of that. A little bit of that. <laughs> a little bit of that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, right. Well, I'll give it a try. Let's see how it tastes. And Rain will take a little sip well, just to, it with that horror on her face. Just like... Roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> of course. Of course. I have made something that requires a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Well, that's a mighty six, so with my con, it's an eight. Woof. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Woof. <laughs> yeah. This right. is a, this is some pretty strong shit. Um, you're going to be poisoned <laughs> for the rest of the day. Disadvantage on checks and, and attacks, uh, right? Yeah, it's disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, Yo. sure. Let's do it. Let's roll I'm not bad. I'm not bad. No. But like, oh, You're dude. so drunk right now. <laughs> I'm guessing like, whatever the fuck Raina's reaction is, I just glance and just think, I'll save it for you. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with it. Hattie's going to take some drinks as well. <laughs> Hattie, you roll me constitution saving throws at advantage. Ooh. 
that's what we like to hear. I'm gonna do it on here. Advantage of it, it was your own monstrous cocktail that you're fighting <laughs> the, Because the, as the a child, one. you used to drink this all the time. <laughs> you're just too much used to it. Second, <laughs> I rolled it a five. <laughs> oh, no! Good boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is gonna go amazing. Oh, Snipes All right. Look, now. Hattie's a halfling. She's short. Like, there's not, like, much density going on <laughs> with it. the... That's yeah. it. Hattie, hit, take that poison condition. I need to check it. Okay. Poison. Oh, oh. Poison mm. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to watch per- both of those reactions and just, like, push my glass away. <laughs> yeah, you know that's, that's the smart idea, Snipe. Jesus. <gasps> it, it does what it's meant to do, though. You sure? Yeah, it's meta do this. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, yeah, so you guys you guys are terribly drunk at the table. Um Yeah, Snipe, what's what's up with you? You're at the bloody oak. Uh, uh, oh no, you go to somewhere super secret and we're all <laughs> faced. Yeah. Uh, um I will take this time by the way to cast lesser restoration on myself. <laughs> Just like, okay, yeah, I'm like, oh, no, not dealing with this. Aww. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> I need to help Snipe. Drink again. Drink again. Take a <laughs> no, shot. So, wait, hold on. So like one the of the diamonds that... that you bought... <laughs> is that is it Lesser Restoration Diamonds? No, Lesser Restoration yes. is just... There's no components. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was thinking Greater Restoration. Greater Restoration, yeah. yeah. I like the idea Yeah, so that, you're just um, like... Good. I like the idea that Reyna drank it, uh, like, cleared the poisoned effect, and then, like, halfway through the conversation, she's just going to instinctually gra- go for the glass and sip without thinking about it and get poisoned again. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I think as soon as she brings the glass up to her mouth and just breathes into her nose, she's going to go, uh, no. <laughs> get residual fumes just up the nostrils. Uh, so, what, so what else are you guys doing? What else uh... is up with you guys while you're here? But I, I was hoping to just get a table <laughs> to sit down for a bit. Yeah, you can totally get a table. Uh, you might have to... Uh... No, there's tables free on the ground floor. Uh, just like, you know, a table in a corner, kind of like the kind that Terrence is sitting at. Um, just grab one. Yeah, um, um, if we do if we do pass uh, any kind of lit fireplace or anything, the sniper's going to take their drink and just like yuck it on the fire just to see what happens. Uh, How? There, there, <laughs> there are three stove, like wood burning stoves around the outside of the room in the corners. Uh, mm. So you can absolutely just chuck it on yeah, top just, of or into one of those. I just I just like offhandedly chuck and like pour it out into the fire just to there's see what brilliant, happens. Brilliant, there's a brilliant green flame <laughs> that just like shoots out of the door for a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a brilliant green flame. It's just like, and then it dies down and everyone nearby the stove is just like, Whoa! Whoa! okay, who? Okay. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of go up to the table and just wait for the others to sit around. Um, Hattie, you want your glass back? I'm not gonna drink any more of this. Uh, no, I'll just stay with mine, please. Okay, and I'll we'll slam it down on the table. <sighs> Snipe, when we <laughs> walked in here, you stopped for a moment and you walked back. <laughs> Did you find anything? Did you drop something? I always drop things. No, I picked something up though, and I take the scroll. That I found uh, from under the wagon wheel, and I just slide it across to Reyna. Hmm. Okay, so we need to knock four times on the bar. Hmm. I'm, I'm so curious what he can do. Don't you uh, know? Reyna, you can roll me an insight check if you'd like. Sure. <laughs> I was going to ask if I can join in on that, but there's no point. <laughs> um... That's a good roll. That's 26. Six. Um, just looking at the note, uh, even though it's in a different script, right? It's in common, not Elvin. Um, it's the same like spiky, <laughs> fancy handwriting that the note in your saddlebag was written in. Mm-hmm. So you can at least glean that. You can glean that the notes were written by the same person, presumably our taxes, but. Yeah. Hmm. Remember when Sage got stolen? Or Sage disappeared? Mm-hmm. The first time. Um, 
God knows where they are now. <laughs> it's still like, poor beast, poor beast. <laughs> poor went out for sage. Poison yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, she came back, but with a note and the pin. The pin I gave back to you, Snipe? In their shadow bag? Yeah, I remember. And I kind of, no- I kind of pull out the amulet as well, and I just like give it a closer inspection, to see like how it is, like any residual energy coming off it, or like if it looked like it's been tampered with. Uh, you can roll me an Arcana check. Arcana? Ever done that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a reason I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, seventeen. It's. It's got like a vibe about it. <laughs> have, have you ever? So okay, this it's might be a really vibe specific. Check. No, well, vibe check. <laughs> this might be a really specific example, but have you ever? Have you ever gone like urban spelunking, like in an abandoned building? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, yes. there's a name for it, right? Yes. <laughs> um, it, it it's like so, yeah. So you know how like if you go into a building, especially if it's it was like a mall or something where a lot of people have been and now it's like abandoned and falling apart. You just get like a vibe off of it where it just feels wrong and off because it should be full of people and it's not. I want mm-hmm. clarification on what the word spelunking means. Searching, like spelunking yeah. is like oh, going to mind. I thought that meant something mind. different. Uh, yeah, trespassing. Trespassing, but, but, uh, <laughs> trespassing yeah. searching through, uh, yeah. exploring. Urban exploration. Yeah. We we call it urban exploration. Yeah. <laughs> The spunking. Um, we just got the trespassing over here. Spunking is the like you're relieving. Well, regardless yourself. of what you call it. Uh, why I was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> it um, it gives you, it, it the the pin gives you that vibe. Uh, it just gives you a vibe of being off. Right. That pin's kind of weird, yo. Well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a cast amulet, it should be. Yeah, but the note I found in Sage Sage Saddlebag um, has the same, had the same handwriting as this note. So, he stole a horse. Mm. But he gave it back, right? So we can be friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't think so. It's just, it, it, um, what, I believe what it said on the note was that thank you, great seeing you again. Thank you for borrowing the horse or let me borrow the horse. That's nice of him. But I'm curious if it, because it, it was written in Elfish, mm-hmm. but I'm curious if it it's linked to me or to Snipe. <clears throat> to the both of us. It's certainly linked to the both of us now. Yeah. While you guys ponder this, we are going to jump back over to the hills of Trialta. I gotta need to change the playlist. Oh God, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so Kaya, it is now your move. One cultist it is dead. Is. For the time being, you've managed to tentatively convince the other cult. Honestly, you're not even sure if you have convinced the Watcher the Watcher just seems... Roll me an insight check really quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. If you allow me, can I mm-hmm. change my held action? Um, Not until it's your turn again. When okay. it's your turn again, you can change your held action. It's just like the sure, so if, it, so if it gets triggered between now and my next action, my next turn, I can... Yeah. Okay, that's, that's totally fine. Basically, okay. a held action is going to use your reaction to do. Okay, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. I rolled a 19. It's like the fourth 16 I've rolled today, so <laughs> I'm very happy with this dice. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty good. Um, so the cultist that's directly in front of you, you think that he is reasonably worried about buying whatever it is you're saying because he wasn't there whenever it went down. The Watcher... You you get the impression that this person is just like out of touch. Like 
Like they don't actually care if you're telling the truth or not. <laughs> That's cool. Because it's not what their job is. Um so you think that you could pretty much get away with saying anything to this person, and as long as it's not interfering with what they're doing, they don't actually care. But they do have the spiritual weapon drawn. Um, so what do you want to do for your turn, Kaya? Um, Kaya is going to take just kind of like, you know, put one of her arms in her pockets and start to play around with a, a copper wire she has in her pockets. Okay. Uh, and whisper something under her breath, real quiet, <laughs> and try to send a message to Seymour. <laughs> okay. So because this cultist is near you, I just want you to make a deception check. I can do that. <laughs> Don't you have to point it in the direction of where you assume someone is? Yeah, but I can do that with my hand in my pocket. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. 21. 10 plus 11. 21. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. We're really uh, the, right the, now, dudes. The, the cultist doesn't notice, so you can go ahead and send your message to Simon. All right. Oh, okay, I was going to say, okay, what's the plan now? We have to wait for City to find her wife before I can swap out the skull. Should I do it now? Should I do it later? What's, what's the plan here? What are we doing next? Should I just wait until we hear back from her? Uh, this is in the head, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. it might be best if we just hold off for a bit. You're okay. you're good at talking. Just get close, but not too close to our goal. If you, I feel like if you get too close, it's going to be even more suspicious. So, okay, Kaya is going to just get you know get close enough. <laughs> yeah, just get just kind of like sidle to the side a little bit. Just get close <laughs> enough to if if the opportunity arises where she has to switch the skull real quick, she can do that. Okay, uh, so let's see. So do you say anything to the cultists around? Are you, first of all, are you trying to walk up right to the altar? Cause you can. No, I mean, she'll, <laughs> I guess, I guess she'll kind of like, um, she'll take a look at uh, the paladin whose name I will never remember. Um, Sir Marcos. Mm -hmm. Sir Marcos, what is, how does he look? Does he look? He looks fine. Um, he looks more worn and tired than anything he does have like he does have like a bruise on the side of his face um but other than he doesn't look like covered in cuts or it doesn't look like he's critically injured or anything um All right, but like, his armor is done actually get close as if to as if motioning as if she was like checking on the prisoner you know and okay. then just kind of like stand around the altar uh looking around pretending that she's looking out for any danger and stuff like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. Trying uh, to stay inconspicuous, uh, but get close shit. enough. Ah, uh, shit, dude. <laughs> the, the cultist uh, who ran onto the scene, uh, should we be looking out for danger? Should, should we send patrols out into the woods? Are you I mean, all you can right? send patrols out for wild animals if that's what you're worried about. That's basically uh, what every anything that's making noise in these woods is most likely wild animals. I am a little hurt. It's mostly superficial, but again, some healing would be kind of nice. Um, I don't know. Can we spare people to go on patrol to look for wild animals? That seems kind of useless at this point. <clears throat> um, if if you think so, uh, I'll I'll defer to you. If if you're fine and you think that it's okay, we'll. We'll just keep up the regular patrols. Uh, there should be someone back soon with a healing kit for you. Um, what? Uh, yeah, I can just wait here with you until he gets back with the healing kit. Keep an eye on things. Um, the cultist with the skull mask um, just kind of tilts his head as you look down over the prisoner. Yeah. But doesn't move. Doesn't do anything. Just kind of like keeps an eye on things. Uh, that brings us to City. Uh, so City is going to 
make her moves. Let's see. So we need to go there. Let's go. Five, ten, fifty. <laughs> um, Kai, you hear a message in your head. Uh, well, actually, let me double check something because I want to make sure that she can do this without. It's ca it's casting a spell, right? It's just, I think if it's invisibility, it drops. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Unless it's greater invisibility. Oh, she, yeah, see, he's definitely got greater invisibility. It's fine. This she can great. cast greater restoration. He's a high level it, mage. It, 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 it's fine, Jenks. Let's just uh, say, yes, let's just say they cast don't, great don't invisibility. Even, don't even worry about it. Um, oh, God. <laughs> It, the DM, like, getting this bit wrong, which fucks us up, is the best thing ever. I'd love that. <laughs> just, oh, shit. This appears. <laughs> okay, yeah, she she won't cast message. <laughs> At least we know what kind of visibility she's got. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> oh. Hmm. No metagaming, guys. Yeah, no metagaming. Let's go. <laughs> yeah god okay yeah she's just gonna have to like hope for the best um all right that brings us to the enemy's turn um so <laughs> okay. this this cultist is going to chill where they are uh this cultist is going to keep going 5 10 15 20 30 <sighs> yep, sorry, this is the boring part of D&D &D where I just have to move a bunch of people around the map. Oh, no, it's not boring for me, dude. I'm in it. It's all good for me. I'm just breathing I'm so, so I don't nervous. make a mistake. 30. I can hear feedback somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's from... Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's from you, Naomi. It's uh, all good. I, don't I, think, I think if you that accept better? your mic on roll 20, ah, um, you can get it. some reverb or whatever. So make sure your mic isn't on for roll 20. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have roll 20 open because it was <laughs> destroyed. Well, <laughs> ignore me then. <laughs> so uh, another cultist appears on scene. Kai, you hear another one coming, running from the path up above. The one who runs up next to the watcher says, what's going on? We heard a scream. False alarm. It was a wolf attack. There are wolves in the forest. Keep an eye out for <laughs> wild animals. Uh, God, what a way to, what a tone to set while trying to say that. <laughs> there are wolves in the forest. It's fine. Don't worry. Um, however, Sorry, the, you're just like the fourth person I've had to say this. I thought that the message would spread eventually, but apparently this is just, don't worry about it. <laughs> in six um, seconds. <laughs> yeah, the one, the one that uh, you already talked to will be like, uh, yeah, it just sounds like a, a wild animal came up. Um, everything should be under control, but if you... You know what? Actually, uh, if we still have someone up on the ridge, maybe you can stay here too, just to keep an eye on things. We don't want any wild animals getting, uh, getting at our stuff. We have to make sure that everything's prepared for the ritual. So, uh, yeah, if you want to hang out, uh, absolutely. Um, just keep an eye on things. Um, this call is so chill, and dude. I like it. <laughs> I like what well, he's he's also going to summon his spiritual weapon now. Ah. Um, <laughs> just to double down on the guard, uh, you know, just making sure that everything's well guarded. Um, Would you like me to drag in a spiritual weapon token for you, Sir Janks? It's a bit easier to visualize. Yeah, if you got one, it's a uh, absolutely. For, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll grab it for you. Um, and then the watcher is just going to keep watching because he doesn't have a reason to do anything else right now. Other than keep spiritual weapon around. So that is going to bring us to Seymour's turn. So yeah, I'm 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 gonna be holding my action. Um Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm moving around for you. Uh, no, that's fine. my my held action's gonna be when Kaya is close enough um, to be able to swap things out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my action to cast uh, Thaumaturgy into the the tree line top left of the map. 
um, to hopefully distract, them, like get them to look away for half a second so that Kaya can swap. Out. Is your sleight of hand good? I don't know. <laughs> Is my sleight of hand good? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, that's something for you to check. Um, uh, shit, we don't know, but that's my, that's plus my six, plan. Plus six. That's my plan anyway. Plus six, plus six. Um, okay, okay. Whether or not it works, I don't know. I'm, I'm, but again, I'm just. Uh... I need at least another two turns because I still have to cast major image. Okay, uh, so let's see. It's quite far away. I'm going to so edge. I'm going to edge a bit close around if that's okay as well, DM. Cause yeah, because thaumaturgy only goes thirty, 30 feet. feet yes. so, you... so just scooching around a bit more. Okay, roll me another stealth check as you do this. I'm ready. Oh shit. Uh, I think we're um, uh, to 20. 20? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'll be a distraction either way, so it's all good. Yeah. Then what about me? Don't smile, DM. Don't smile. Why do you smile? Something we feel whenever you DM. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you spend most of your time cackling, Dave. Yeah, um, that's because you guys are arguing and I just this... get the popcorn and enjoy it. <laughs> This particular cultist, mm -hmm. the one stand, not the watcher, but the one standing next to the watcher, mm -hmm. uh, he says, Did you hear that? There's something in the woods. Probably wolves. Be careful. What is Finibris doing? Finibris hasn't moved. Um, yeah, he's, he's pissing he, up against a tree. He's just staying in the shadows right now. Um, okay. he's, he isn't moving at all in my head, so. Yeah. Okay, so he's just staying in the same shadowy place where you left him? Yeah. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, the cultist next to the Watcher turns around. Yay. Uh, and he says to the Watcher, Maybe see what you can see. I think there's something more than wolves in the forest. And that is where we will take our break. <laughs> We're so fucked, so y'all. Fuck. We're so fucked. So fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys are fucked. Until we know where the fuck this lady is. <laughs> see, I think the thing is before. And more, and more people have shown up. Oh, more yeah, yeah. have shown I'm up. I'm totally in this. See, I was going to try and speak to city before he moved but we moved before i said I had chance so it's it's sure. done it's done though who cares Let's hey gents go. before we this might be a question to ask in the break but um is is dark vision f like 60 feet from the person or is it yeah. 60 feet from where the light ends if you're standing in light it's it's 60 feet from the person okay um yeah, so it's not like it's not like the edge of the dim light, and then Seymour sees another sixty feet beyond that. Although I think Devil's Sight gives you a little bit more than sixty feet, but okay. um, yeah, it's just okay. it's just you can see beyond one. the dim light. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that's good. All right, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Whenever we get back from our break, ten minutes. <laughs> Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Hello, back. everyone. Uh, welcome back ah. to the road to Elturel, where we're in the middle of a weirdly knife's edge battle that hasn't yet broken out into a fight. Um, currently, uh, Kaya and Seymour and City are trying to infiltrate the profaned uh, altar of the Triad to get the skull that City needs to save her wife. Uh, currently, Kaya is disguised as a cultist in the middle of the group. Uh, standing next to Sura Marcos, who is currently in a semi-conscious state, uh, standing next to the torch that is lighting up the area. And uh, as Seymour tried to edge his way around the outside, making as little noise as possible, following after City's footsteps, um, he stepped on a branch and made a noise. And now everyone is a little bit suspicious as to what's going on in these woods. So, uh, first thing that's going to happen is that the Watcher is going to use one of his legendary actions. <laughs> uh, and he is going to grant 
Uh, da, 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 da. These two are the two that's close to him, so they're both going to get it. Uh, so Kaya, mm -hmm. you see in the light of the torches uh, that the eyes of the two cultists you're standing in the circle with flash red for a moment. <laughs> but you don't. That's amazing. Because it only grants to the Watcher's allies, and Kaya is not actually his ally. <laughs> Can Kaya um, use a minor illusion to make it look like her eyes flashed red for a second? I, I would love for you to do that. I will let you do that as a reaction to this. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm being very generous because I like I like your moxie. Um, I like your moxie. But you're going to have to roll your deception at disadvantage this time. Ah, shit. Okay. Disadvantage. Here we go. All right. First roll is a 15. Not bad. Second roll is a 19, so it's a 26. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you're like a half a second behind them, uh, but you do, <laughs> but uh, you're, you, you manage to like, like catch it as soon as you possibly can um, with the watcher being as impassive as ever. It is now your turn though. So what is it that you would like to do, Kaya? What are, so the other two, are they looking in a particular direction or are they just still like looking around? I'm not sure. They, so the one next to the watcher is looking into the woods behind him because that's where the sound came from. The other cultist who has the spiritual weapon out, he is also looking in that direction, but he's on the far side of the, the shrine. So he, he's like, a. He has to look through trees and it's kind of dark and there are shadows from the light and all that. So it's a little harder for him to see. Okay, um, let's see. Kaya is going to, hand still in her pocket, take out a little bit of fleece, whisper a couple of words under her breath. Okay. Um, well, first she's gonna look around for City or the City's wife, just to, just to make sure she's not missing anything. Roll me a quick perception check. Uh, that was not good. So okay. probably not. What was? What's my perception? Yeah, uh, eight probably doesn't do it. <laughs> no. So you just see the cultists and the torchlight and Sir Marcos in front of you. All right, then she's just gonna whisper something under her breath, and uh, okay. she's gonna cast major image, or she's gonna try to cast major image. Okay. Uh. uh yeah, tell me about the, the image you're trying to conjure. So the image that she's conjuring is basically, she's putting this image over the the like table with the skull on it, and she's just going to make the image exactly what is on the table, basically. So that if anything from the table is moved, it can't be noticed. It looks exactly the same. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right, but uh, you are standing directly in the watcher's eyesight, so I I'm too um, uh, I, I said I, I, I did say I was going to hold my action until that happened. I am. That's when I was going to pull the trigger when they were about to. They're about to do that thing. I did say that. What? Because I'm trying to remember exactly what you said your trigger was. So it was my trigger for thaumaturgy was the moment when Kai is about to do their thing. I was going to do thaumaturgy top left of the watcher to get them to look away. Um, that was my trigger. That's why I said the trigger okay. was. Um, all right, I'll let you have that. So you use your reaction to trigger the thaumaturgy. So um, if you allow me, DM. Yeah. I'd like to... Oh, man. I've got, I'm going to have to create some confusion, I guess. Here's my plan. And it's only if you allow me, DM. Okay. I want to make the same whistle... I made top left as the same whistle as I usually use to call Thinibus to me. So I'm going to use the wolf wh the whistle top left so that Thinibus will bolt that way on his turn. That's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes, you can make a whistling noise. Uh, Kai, I'm still going to need you to roll a deception check, but you don't have disadvantage now. Thank you. Because now I don't have to do... It is, it, yeah, it makes more sense. But. So uh, with a natural 20, that's a 31 that I just love there. <laughs> Amazing. So you're able to pull this off as uh, the two cultists, the two regular cultists, they like turn to look at the woods. Um, this one up here also like looks into the woods and the watcher just sort of 
tilts their head off to the side. Okay. Uh, and kind of like averts their eyes for a minute, um, which gives you enough time to pull this off. So you cast major image. Is there anything else you're doing on your turn? Uh, that's my action. I have a bonus action, but it seems too risky at this point to cast Bardic Inspiration. So she is just, no, she's not going to do anything else. Okay. Um, in that case, it is City's turn. So City. Woof. Okay, let's see. Uh, five, ten. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kaya, you hear a whisper next to you. Okay. Uh, they took on the spiritual weapon. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what is City going to say? City wants to say. Um... Good work. Give. Uh... If, if I take the skull from the table right now, are they going to see me take the skull? No, but it won't be able to put the other skull there, so the watcher might notice. You could take the skull from me. It's right here. And then switch them if you want. <laughs> okay, give me this skull. Okay. Uh, Kaya will, Kaya will take it out of her pocket. But she is, she does have disguised self on, and she's wearing a, a robe. So taking it out can't be seen because the of the of the illusion that's around. And she's just well, gonna like put it outside of the illusion just a little bit so that um, City can see where it is roughly. Okay. And well and when City takes it, it vanishes. Mm -hmm. Um so so this is on City now. Um yes. I hope she has a higher sleight of hand than me. Would, would they get advantage because they're invisible? Um Well, well they're getting advantage from the major image. Before actually. before you roll, um so technically, City talking, that's a free action, so it doesn't necessarily happen on her turn, right? Yeah, well, it is her turn, but yeah. So my question would be, could Kaya, after hearing City talk, give her some bardic inspiration on this roll? Um, no, because okay. she had to use her movement on her turn to get to where you are. That's, that's fair. Okay. She is going to try. Sweating, dudes. Sweating. <laughs> I'm so concerned. <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. Finibus is on his way. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Uh, you see, uh, you see the image of the skull flicker for a moment. Um. However. There is no immediate reaction from anyone in the clearing. They seem to be focused on whatever the noise in the woods is right now. Uh, so that's what she can do. And then what else does she have the power to do? Uh, can she? No, that's all a bad idea. Uh, okay, yeah, that's all she can do on her turn. So, um, next up will be the enemies. Let's see the... Da, 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 da. This enemy will go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and summon a spiritual weapon. Uh, let's see. You got it, yeah. This one will also go 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 Thank you, Cool Maddy Draws, for the spiritual paintbrush. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yes, thank you. I still, uh, still do not know where the fuck Sip is. <laughs> it's worrying me. D DM, you know when Kai yeah. is fair? Um, mm -hmm. You know how he said, how does our paladin friend look? 
did we, um, you know what? I, I can't say this. This is, this is no, I'm not. I, I can't say it. I'm, I'm not them, so I'm not yeah. going to say anything else. Okay. Um, the Watcher. If those cultists are going up to check on that, the Watcher is going to stay put. Um, and the Watcher is going to refocus attention on the objects on the table. So, Seymour, <laughs> you and Finibris. Seymour shits himself a tiny bit. <laughs> um, I think right now, I, I, I honestly think Seymour right now needs to just uh, hold. I There's nothing else I, I think he, he, he can really do. Um, uh, hang on. Sorry, DM. Just want to make sure. No, that's fine. Uh, I forgot that's difficult to write. It's not actually like there. Uh, 30, 30 feet isn't that far. Um, I think Seymour is going to. Okay, Seymour's going to. Do, okay, do I do I did I see that that went down and it worked? Like at least you saw Kaya like yeah you thing. like you're at the edge of the forest, so you didn't necessarily see what Kaya was doing, but you see that the cultists are going into the forest now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna back away. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna back away yeah. and try and actually try and can I like go deeper into the darkness a little bit so i'm like outside that ring I yeah do you want to just back straight up or yeah i, I literally just want to okay. get because i, I seymour notices that he did get like he broke something so he's gonna just gonna slowly back into the complete darkness um okay and... i'll just put you at the edge of the ring then perfect That's cool. and yeah all right so now it's going to be finibris i mean finibris we did say that the whistle happens, so he's out. He's going. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15. Uh, I, I, I just want him to run. Um, All right. Uh, 25, 30. So he's going to run and dash. Uh, the cultist is going to yell whenever a wolf comes into the area. He's going to be like, I thought you said you killed it. <laughs> um, and the watcher is going to use a legendary action. So Let's it hope. is going to turn its gaze onto Finibris. Come on, Finibris. <laughs> Finibris is going to have to roll a wisdom save. Oh, fuck. Uh, and that will... Finish the gauntlet. Yes. 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 Okay. Go. So he is not currently frozen in place. Uh, all right. So that's what the those people are going to do. Um, and we'll do uh, one more round of this, I think. So, Kaya, what is it that you want to do? Okay, Finibris so has entered the frame. The Hello. skull is switched. Finibris has done whatever the fuck Finibris was supposed to do. None of the cultists are attacking right now. Um, Kaya is just gonna absentmindedly whistle, <laughs> uh, and <laughs> use that to give some bardic inspiration to City, <laughs> because I realized I think okay. that you can give bardic inspiration to anyone who can hear you. They don't. You don't have to be able to see them. I think I'm gonna look it up again just to be sure. No, I think that that's right. Creature pipe. within sixty feet that can hear you. Yes. Yep. So um, that's her bonus action. <laughs> And then okay. uh, she is going to hold her action to uh, put out the torch if everything goes to hell. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, to put out the torch if, um, if she's found out, if everybody starts attacking. Just if, if shit hits the fan, she's putting out the torch. That's, that's, that's what she's doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see then. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right. So da -da 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 -da. that's turn. But City's turn. City is uh, City's gonna whisper to you and say, "Hold down the fort." 
Uh, and then she's going to take off. So 5, 10, 15, 20. <clears throat> 10, 15, 20. It's, it's slowly coming together. Uh, oh, look both yeah. ways before crossing the street. Oh, um, that's all that she can do, unfortunately. How so, dare she? <laughs> She's so lazy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, his legendaries haven't recharged yet, so it's just going to be the enemy's turn. Uh, enemies are going to bug the dog uh, that is that has just appeared so let's go Jennifer's, you're going to have let's what see happens the, if this dog dies i die <laughs> really i don't know <laughs> i don't know he's a he's a, he's a what a boy. great question uh let's see <laughs> these guys so can't be... hit hard they're fine He's a good the game, you died by, for by the way, no, uh, for Kaya, Kaya, would, this will be the first time they've seen Finibrus actually Finibrus. You've always seen Finibrus as the the, Five, the cockadoodle. Oh, do they look like a giant Wolf. like demon dog? Right? <laughs> they have okay. to. They have to. Yeah. Girls, or else <laughs> it's right, a little dog a... coming out going. <laughs> hey, first three attacks. Oh, so much better though. With like a tiny little cockadoodle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like one. by the wrinkles. <laughs> Sixteen. So the spiritual weapon's going to hit. It just has to lock them away, right? It just has to keep running. Yes. Just see. Left. Go, 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 go. So this spiritual weapon is going to do 1d8 plus the spellcasting ability. So... Ah, Finny's a big boy. He's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Spellcasting ability is... All right. So that's four damage to Finibris. As the bone sword cuts into him a yelp from finibris as the next cultist rolls their attacks he's fine and a two and a one so all of those attacks miss yes power casual thank you for the follow and hey thank you for the follow uh let's see 13 and 12 that will hit his ac yes so those are going to be one spiritual weapon and one dagger so he's going to take three points of damage from that and eight points of damage from that <laughs> Tender whistle all right uh yeah so you see these uh you see these spiritual weapons just cut through this shadow wolf kaya uh and the shadow wolf yelps uh as the light burns its its shadowy fur um and then we move on to Seymour. Uh, is it my turn again? Jesus, uh, I am just <laughs> I'm just in the dark, looping. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. I, yeah, I, I have nothing else to do right now. I'm literally just staying there. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I I really I really have no other plan right now. I'm literally just. Stay in, not even holding an action because I don't know what to hold, so I'm just waiting. All right, then. Um, so you hold your action. Is it, is it Finibris's turn now? Yes, it is Finibris's turn now. You can, so Finibris is going to use his action to disengage and then use his movement to get away without um, uh, taking opportunity, uh, opportunity attacks. Uh, yeah, that's that is what he'd like to do. Uh, so let's see. Run, boy, run! He's going to move. He's a good boy. Let's see. What is his easiest getaway? I, 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 my my plan, and obviously this is up to you, DM, because like honestly, there's no communication between Seymour and and Finn. But I'd want yeah. him to go top left of the map so that he gets at least a few quarters away from the area just as a way for if shit goes down we aren't dealing with everyone and all of their spiritual weapons sure so. okay yeah he, he yeah he's gonna dart off into the forest where he heard the whistle um so he's going to run up that way not provoking an opportunity attack uh yeah 
So that's going to be his turn. Does he have a rogue ability to bonus action hide? No. All right. <laughs> he does not do Damn that. It. No. Uh, he is a fighter, not an expert. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um. Let's see. And the watcher is. Hmm. Darkness imprisoning me. What would I see? The watcher is going to. Watcher is going to use another legendary action. <laughs> to tear our plan apart. 18 will hit. So he will fire an Eldritch Blast out of his mask after Finnebris into the woods. And is it at, nine damage? I'm, I'm sort of scratching here. Is it at disadvantage because there's like trees in the way and stuff? Or at least he gets a bit, a bit of cover? Does he have half cover? Does he get quarter cover at least? <laughs> You know what? Let's give him half cover and see if that would have still hit. Please, Andy. Um, Come on, Finny. Let's see. Half cover. Finny, half if cover. you die, see what dies. A plus, a plus two to AC. Okay. You know what? I'll even give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him. <laughs> I'll give him three quarters cover, which is a plus five. Let's go so three. Fenebris Let's go three quarters. Will be. 13 plus like 5. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. More than likely. Nope, that still hits. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Even with three quarters cover, it will still hit. Um, so, uh, no, he takes nine force damage. And you hear a yelp in the forest uh, as the Eldritch Blast hits him. So, things are getting crazy over there. How are things at the bar? <laughs> 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 oh, <damn. laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that you should have like seen what you could do with it. You didn't have to give it away. Okay. You no, know, if it's shiny and it's got powers. <laughs> yeah. Snipe, no. Oh. Yes, to a, de to a degree, yes. I think I mixed this wrong. There's... He he got the cloak pin. He got it when you gave it to him in the Misty Forest. Yeah. Okay. I... I might have a way to ask some information about your other half. But I would not like to do it in the middle of a tavern. Well, we ha each have rooms. Okay. Um, also, Patty, to mm. make sure you're not as, like, as you are right now. Like, I, I like you, I could but... drink more. I will take Snipe's glass, and I will uh, pull out an ointment from my bag, and I will pour it in the glass a bit, and I'll hand it over to Hattie. Woof. Um... Drink this, you'll feel better afterwards. Patty, it is like the consistency of a snack pack pudding. Has anyone told you this is really gross? Yes, it is. What if I mix it with the drink? Maybe Don't. it'll. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I want to make sure you're you, but a more clearer version of yourself. That's never happened before. Maybe it will happen this time around. Well, One time I hit my head really hard and I kind of feel like that right now. <laughs> Just drink it all the way and... Like a, like a shot? Afterwards. Do I have yeah. to chug it? Well, yeah, get it down quicker. Yeah. Okay. She just starts, like, chugging <laughs> this lumpy. <laughs> and, it's yeah. like... Yeah, is 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 like the more that you drink, the worse it is, but also the better you feel. It's that classic hangover cure of like, God, this is awful, but man, does it <laughs> is help? It working? Yeah. yeah. Am I still poisoned? You are not poisoned. In fact, you're not even really drunk anymore. See? That That's feels really better. weird. You should like start selling that or something. That's really cool. I could have like so used that when we were sneaking back into the <laughs> orphanage after being in the inn. That's so cool. No, um, I I need to buy some more herbs for later. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. 
No problem. Look, it's a brilliant drink if, like, you have nothing going on in your life. I promise you. Um... So, wait, we need somewhere private to do whatever your plan is? Should we... Yeah, let's go to, let's go room? to a room. They have bathtubs, guys. Ready? <laughs> Sad. So, uh, yeah, you guys can make your way upstairs uh, to the rooms that Hattie bought. Um, you guys, you guys got some of the nice rooms, which were down the hallway and not right off of the tavern floor. Uh, so it's a little quieter here at the back of the inn. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice room. Hattie sprung for the nice one. So there's like, <laughs> you know, uh, there's a, a bed, but there's also kind of like a little sitting area with like a couch and some chairs. Uh, there's an iron stove and yeah, there's a door that leads into a bathroom with like a copper tub. Can Hattie pretty... look for buttons? <sighs> yeah, sure. Perception, <laughs> yeah? Investigation? Uh, we'll do perception. You're 14? Looking for 14. Um, the, uh, nothing immediately stands out to you. You okay. find a couple wood chips in a corner, uh, but no buttons. Not yet. Okay, no, yeah, not, just not checking. Room. Just checking for traps. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're good. N- nothing here. Extra security. Always yep. needed. Mm-hmm. What I wanted to do is that a while back when we were at the Lonely Tower, um, I got in contact with my god. Um, Which one? How do you know? Well, there's kind of been like a change in aesthetics. <laughs> and I don't know much about gods, but generally they like their aesthetics. <laughs> it's fair. Just... I'll, I'll tell you later about it. Maybe you, maybe with your information you have in your head about gods, you can oh. see when I act out. Boy, we'll there see. are so many informations. All right, what are you trying to do right now? Um, right now we'll sit on the bed uh, and we'll pull out the spider amulet, the Argent spider. Ooh, okay. Hattie will join you in the bed. And she will look at Snipe and Hattie and say, if I start talking, please note everything I say. Um, This will be something I usually do in private, but I want you guys here. Are you going to say something embarrassing? (laughs) If I do, remember it. I will. (laughs) And Reyna will take the urchin spider Mm -hmm. and start meditating on it. Okay. Uh, After a moment of meditation, you're sitting there, uh, sort of a calm, I I moved the mic closer to my face without starting to whisper yet. So I apologize if I suddenly got incredibly loud. Um, After a a moment of meditation, uh, a voice comes to you but the voice is coming from the spider in your hand. It says, Raina, what can I do for you, child? I, um, I was curious if you got some information on Snipes Half, that's in the abyss probably. You said you would look into it maybe. Curious if you found something. Yes, yes. Yes, that was before the bridge. Before Zubar. Before your little trip to Waterdeep. Yes. Well, I... working the ends of my webs, looking, feeling for any twitching along the length. I have heard a thing or two about the other 
as I see you have done your best to embrace your true self. I'm even willing to share what I've heard. The other half of Snipe. The demon half. Dwells in a space called the Endless Maze. It is under the protection of the demon lord, Baphomet. But there is one who seeks it, one that I would advise you to seek out, a lordling of the abyss, who takes among his many forms that of a high elf, prince. In this form, he uses the name Artaxis. He will help you. He wants what Snipe wants. You can find him beneath this very tavern in a place called the Nightshade. Thank you. I'll, I'll make this up to you. I trust that you will, child. I do not do something for nothing after all. And she'll try to get out of the meditative state and snap back into the real world. <laughs> Did we hear that? You did not. You didn't hear, you heard Raina's half of the conversation. You didn't hear Lolt's half of the conversation. Okay. And um, quick question because um, I missed like all of the important words. The endless what? The endless maze. Endless maze. maze. Yeah. Who, who's in charge of it? Baphomet. 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 Baphomet is so cool. But that it, that is stuff that Lolt said. And I don't think Raina said it. Did you say it back, Raina? You might have said it back. Yeah, I'll probably, I would probably just try to say like those snippets of words when I hear it. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're in the right place then? Seems like it. Okay. Well, okay. I felt like I only said half of it. So your, your half is in the end of this maze, in the abyss. Seems about right. That's why we lost him last. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should have done the whole, you know, where did you leave them last thing? You know, did you last see them in your own dorms or did you know where they went? The I picture? just kind of reach back and like pull out the pieces of like the labyrinth amulet that's left of them. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Maze is a fucking awful place to get lost in. Hmm. Should so, we try gluing them together? I don't think so it's you as what, easy as that. Uh, I will let um, I will let all of you roll me either an arcana check or a religion check to see what you know about the endless maze. Religion. Doesn't matter either. It's it doesn't, matter. It doesn't matter for me either. Ooh, 19. That's not too bad. Six. 19. <laughs> Oh, so, so sorry, Hattie. <laughs> I hate it always, Hattie. She right. doesn't the know anything. Still in. The hangover's still in there. Um, 25. Hattie, the f 25, okay. Hattie, the thing about Candlekeep is, like, all of the books on the interesting things uh, are not kept in public parts of the library <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons, um, especially when it comes to things like demonology. Um, for you, Snipe, the term endless maze and even Baphomet, like your, your closest contact with those things would have been when you found the amulet, when you were in that maze beneath the desert that seemed never ending 
uh, and constantly full of twists and turns. So whenever you hear the name Endless Maze, that's the place that you think of, like an underground labyrinth that uh, it was kind of amazing that you made it out. But uh, you do specifically remember that when you found the amulet, there was an altar and the altar had like this giant minotaur figure behind it. So your interpretation of this is basically it, it, what what would probably occur to your mind is the real world story of Theseus and the Minotaur. Like that's that's the first place your brain would go whenever you hear this. Um, Reina, so you don't have like a lot of touchstones for demons. <laughs> um, you do know that uh, Baphomet and Corellian and the followers of Corellian have clashed before, or like this, the Seldarine have clashed before with Baphomet. And uh, he is the Lord of Beasts. Um, he he kind of gets conflated sometimes with the same group of gods as like Malar, uh, the beast. Um, and also um, you've heard that there are other demon lords that are also about this whole predator prey cycle thing. Uh, but you just know that he like rips into like the vomit's whole thing is like everyone should, like survival of the fittest. Um, and most often the the forces of the Seldarine have fought him in like forests and in uh, places where like they've been converted into these nightmare mazes. Okay. Hmm. We also know that our Texas is a lord or something of the abyss. That's that. fun. So does he have like you know, does does he <laughs> just someone walks by the room? Yeah. <laughs> you someone else talk right now, aren't <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh Lolf's Lolf's wording. Uh, she said Lordling of the Abyss. Hmm. That worries me, to be honest. Why's that? Does he have, like, someone who... You I would that be worrying? Sorry. <laughs> Does he have, like, someone who receives him? Because if he's, like, a lord, like, maybe there's, like, a... A messaging system we could like maybe he has like well, a he poses uh, as a prince and he he left a note saying it was nice to see you again you look good that's nice would i would reyna remember anyone in in the it's... name of our taxes or a, a prince or yeah, you can roll me like a history check to see if you remember ever encountering that person before. 17. 17. Um, you don't remember ever encountering a Lord Artaxis in your journeys. Um, never a name that you remember like coming to the temple. Never a name that you remember interacting with. I think we should just go and talk to him. He'll talk, but I highly doubt it's going to get anywhere beneficial for us anyway. Well, she, well what's she, the worst that can happen? She said he has the same goal as you. Well, there we go then. Brilliant. Let's just go. Not yet. Do you want to try out the bath? No. On that note, <laughs> we're going to hop back to. Uh, Wait, I feel like I need to Gilfield. specify. Hattie yeah. didn't mean with. It wasn't like a group. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah. you for specifying. I have Hattie. a jacuzzi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gotta pass the time somehow, guys. <laughs> okay, so back in the Trialta Hills, uh, Kaya, it is now your turn in the initiative order. All of the cultists are focusing on this dog that just ran through, including the watcher, uh, who appears to be after the dog. Uh, okay, is Sir Marcos tied up? 
Sir Amarcos uh, appears to just be, actually, roll me a medicine check. Okay. <laughs> That's not great. What's my medicine? I rolled a seven, so I think it's like plus one or two, so it's like eight or nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you're not you're not entirely sure what's going on with Sir Marcos, but he's not tied up. <clears throat> he's just okay. like le- he's just like leaned up against the altar. Well, if no one is paying attention to me, I am going to uh, whisper a couple of words under my breath and give him a first level healing word. Amazing. Okay. Uh, let me get out my thing. Great idea. I didn't. I didn't. Here's the thing. I didn't even think about healing him. <laughs> That's why I would just drag. Him. <laughs> They're just like we'll drag him out. It'd be right. I didn't even think about it. No. Um. Seven points of healing. Okay. All right. So he will take that. Uh. So he will go from. 14 to 24, which he is perfectly happy with. Um, all right, uh, so that is him. Is he starting to wake up or is he still down? He's he's kind of, he's still like groggy, um, but you, you can definitely see like the bruising on his cheek goes away whenever you cast the spell. Um, you think that, uh, You think that he's at least okay enough that he he's like semi-conscious. So if you tried to move him out, you would have to like support him, but, and you'd probably have to move like half speed, but you think that you could potentially get him into the woods. Okay. So that's Kaya's bonus action. So as her action, she's going to, uh, is this, oh wait, I should check if healing wood is concentration spell. I don't think it is. No, it's not. And this is also not a concentration spell. So everything's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she's gonna she's gonna let go of her fleece gonna wrap the copper wire back around her finger she's gonna cast a message to um, him and is gonna say hey remember us you can't recognize us but remember that tiefling that you were traveling with and also me Kaya that's me I'm disguised as a cultist right now uh, get ready to run just in case uh, shit goes really badly right now but don't run yet I'll give you like a signal or something when it's time to to, to run. Um, are you okay? Do you need something? You can answer me, by the way. <laughs> what is going on? I, we were on the road, and then I I was taken into the forest, and I I am unsure what is happening. Okay, she can't respond. That's the end of her turn. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, that's that, but just to give you an idea of where his brain is at right now, that's the response that you get. Um, okay, so that brings us to uh, City. City is going to, uh, okay, yeah, she's gonna see that. So she is going to go, let's see, five, ten. And we have no idea where City is either. Nope. <laughs> it's fine, she'll be fine. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, so she takes her turn, and then it's the enemy's turn. So the enemies, uh, they are going to go after your boy. It's your boy. I have 10, 15, 15, so that one can make an attack. Come on, buddy. Hits. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15. Okay, so that's the only one that can get close. It's going to do, woo, three damage. Oh, that woo made me, like, my ass just sank when you just said woo on the damage. Uh, yeah, you hear a yelp from the forest across from you. Um, let's see, what's the Watcher going to do? The Watcher isn't going to leave. He's just going to send his spiritual weapon out. That's not going to get very far. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Um, so, 
That's going to bring us to Seymour. I'm I am just holding. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just waiting right now. <laughs> like <laughs> your dog is dying across the street from you, and you're just like, I'm just gonna sit in the woods because because. One, it's entertaining I, for you. I, I, I don't, well, I don't know. Hang on. Can I see him from here? It's like, I won't be able to see him anyway, but like, I, I'm uh, hearing How it. far does your devil sight go? Uh, yeah, you, you can hear him. You, can, you can hear him yelping every time he gets hit. Yeah. Uh, you don't have like healing spells or anything like cool. that. I'm a warlock, dude. <laughs> don't be silly. <laughs> um, I, If I go help, shit hits the fan. So yeah. right now... Seymour's literally just ho hoping that Finibris is going to get away. Um, so distractions you could do? You could cast like darkness on Finibris or something like that? I <laughs> can't see him as a point of what you can see. Um, so I can't. I I'm, I'm sort of holding off on darkness right now as well. Um, yeah. I, well, I, if it, I, if it helps in your already. decision making at all, um, City did tell you at the start of this that it's only if they see her that it's going to be really problematic. Because uh, they don't really know who you are. Can you get close enough to Finnebris to, to, for example, cast Darkness on him? Uh, it, it all depends if I can see him or not, really. Because I, I, cause here's the thing. I did claim he did get three quarters cover from an attack. So would I be able to see him from there? I don't know. You get, you get what I mean? Um, I just want to. Yeah, what well, he's? I think he's beyond your your dark vision anyway. You'd have to get closer to him for your dark vision to even kick in. Sixty feet for dark vision. Yeah, I think you're farther away than that. I'm you are. Just, I can move forward. You're you're sixty five feet away from yeah, him just, actually. Just move a little closer. Come on. Okay, DM. Yeah. Would you allow me to be able to see Finnebrus? Yeah, I mean, so so here's here's the other thing, right? So this circle exists to tell you where the dim light is, but you also have to remember these are all like trees and things. Yeah. So like that dim light technically goes out to that, but also it's like casting shadows and shit, and it's actually much harder to see than dim light mm -hmm. in in areas where the trees are. So yeah, if you if you're willing to chance sneaking past the watcher, uh whose attention is currently focused on that patch of forest. Okay. Like you can move forward and hope that he doesn't. Like I'll let you roll a stealth check at disadvantage because you'll be moving out in the open. Can I dive but... into the bush on the left slightly? You know how you went straight forward? Can I slightly That's go it. to the left? You can say no, I'd, I really don't mind. It's all good. So where your token is right now, that's how far forward you can move with your movement speed. Okay. You can get to there. Uh, okay, hang on. Which puts you, let's see, 35 feet away from uh, Finnebris. I will... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, me and Finnebris are going to be distractions. Um, I'm going to run there. I'm going to... I can see Finnebris, right? Just want to make sure you allow me to do this. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you see Finnebris from there. So you can Because you can see him in the glow of the spiritual weapons. Perfect. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay. Um, oh, so I'm going to cast... Finnebris won't be able to see... He can't see magical darkness. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, you don't know what his you don't know what his deal is. You don't know if he'd be able to see or not. <laughs> but they wouldn't be able to see him. He's just trying to get away, right? He's not fighting anyone. He's just he can run in darkness. <laughs> he can run in he darkness. He heard Seymour whistle. That's why he ran over there in the first place. Like, fuck it. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cast darkness on Finibris. Um, okay. And I have got some circles for you there dm so i'll put a i'll put a circle around him so you know the radius of it all sure um, if you just want to throw that on there yeah i'll throw it on for you uh but yeah but well, i thought i was going to i think some of my stuff is gone that's fine don't worry but yeah um so from that point uh i guess that's my action right that's my action to cast darkness okay uh, i i don't have any bonus actions regarding that um yeah, I'm just. I guess I've got to roll for myself. <laughs> See if I can yep. quickly get by. <laughs> you can literally just turn and go, hello. All right. Roll for stealth. Okay, natural 20, 25. Oh, natural 20? Oh, Na you're, you're fine. Fucking hell. 
<laughs> so so his his attention is entirely focused on the patch of woods that Finnebris is in and the darkness that has now appeared there. So you can be standing there and the watcher doesn't see you. Okay. Um let's see. So on Finnebris's turn. He can't see. He doesn't know where you are. But he heard you whistle somewhere over here. Keep running, boy. You've been smacked around. I want him to. I, I want to just. Yeah, just run, right? And because I, I cast it on Finibris, um, I believe the, sh the darkness stays with him. Because I can cast it on um, uh, something. Or maybe it's not a creature. I don't know how much I want to stretch it. Uh. uh it's, I mean, it's a weird one because it's like, if you. Let me look at the rules. If Ooh, the creature chooses an, an object, he's not an object. He's a creature. You're holding... Uh, it's, it's, it's your call, DM. I don't Note mind. Note to self, get him a caller next time that you can pass him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you choose an object. He's not an object. He's a creature, so I can't really say <laughs> that, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I've done my part. Okay. Just let's see. keep running. That's the only thing he used to do, so it'll be fine. And it's... <laughs> Just get him uh, the room. Let's see. Darkness is... 15 foot seconds. radius. Okay. I thought I had my circles. For some reason, they are dis see. they've disappeared. That's fine. I can keep track of where that is. Uh, let's see. So. God. Yeah, he just wants to run away, but he doesn't know where Seymour is. Uh, yeah, he's going to disengage. Go 5, 10, 15. Just going to put him somewhere in the darkness. Um. And then he is going to use second wind. It's a fighter. Oh, oh <laughs> what a beast. That is literally the best you could do. Uh, so he's going to regain some hit points. Okay. He's a little he fighter. not on oh, death's door anymore. Um, okay. So that does that. And we're back to Kaya. Fuck. Um, okay, let's see. He's still disoriented. What do I can I do anything to like wake him up a little bit? No, nah, she's just gonna pump another first level healing. I don't need my first level spells. So she's just gonna pump another first level healing word into him. Okay, so that's another seven points of healing. Okay, uh, so he'll take that. That'll bring him up to. 31, so what is that, like, 20%? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I see. Uh, I see he's doing all right. <laughs> and then Kaya will take her action to cast another message. <laughs> and okay. She's, she's just going to say, all right, come on, get it together. You're in the middle of a weird cult sacrificing thing, and you're probably going to die if you don't wake the fuck up. Okay. Take a look uh around and get ready to run if the opportunity arises. Okay. Uh, yeah. On on that one, he like snaps awake a little bit more. It's like, okay. Okay. Uh, and he like he, he kind of like raises up his arms. Um, okay. <laughs> so what is his deal? He is still. He is still poisoned. So. Uh, oh, I wish we had armor, some of that um, hangover armor. cure that we're in our pocket. How amazing is this? Uh, right, yes. Uh, get away. Where's my armor? Where? Where is my armor? Where? Where is my? Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Okay, uh, and he he kind of starts getting himself together. Um, it is now what a good boy. City's turn. Let's see. Uh, city is going to go 15, 20, 25, 30. And there it is. So she has found her wife. Oh, um, we win. Is that the end? Of, is, that the en enough. is that the end of she the campaign? Is... <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, but what is going to happen? is something fucking bonkers all right so oh god <laughs> i, I want to here we go this. time to watch Oops. 
gobby popcorn, where? kids. It's about to get <sighs> fucked up. God, where is the circle? There's the circle. All right, let's see. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Don't like that. All right, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. All right, hold on. Whoops. Okay, didn't do it. All right, hold on. Sorry. That. Oh, two, boy. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. Your count three, is making me fucking nervous, dude. Five, six, seven. Uh. Right, hold on. Uh, uh, thank see. you, other half of the team, being patient. Appreciate you. Yes. Uh, thank I'm you. Just escaping now. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the fire of everything that's happening. <laughs> oh. Need to figure out what layer this exists on. Uh, there it is. All right. Let's see. Oh boy. Now where is where are the little blue things? There we go. <laughs> Let's see, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, now. Yeah, that's kind of circular. Okay. Uh, oh my lord, what the hell is that, DM? Oh, can you guys see that? I I can, yes. I'm just nervous. <laughs> Don't worry oh, about it. Oh, that's right. Don't worry, about in, it. Don't worry about it. You're in my lair. Uh, let's see if I can. Is that the hallow spell? Is that how long the range is? Yeah, it's a 60 foot radius. So. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> city triggers her hallow spell. Let's go, City. Come on, City. Let's go. And it is going to be there. Oh my God. Finibris was just outside that range. Oh, he would have gotten wrecked. All right. <laughs> He would have. He's a fiend. Um, Yay, okay. So, she triggers that spell. Uh, there's a huge flash of light. Um, uh, a lot of the cultists are not showing what's uh, what's just gone on. Uh, just like a huge flash of light from the hills to the north, uh, to the, the northeast. And that's what City is going to do. So... Uh, that brings us to ba -ba 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 the enemies. Uh, those enemies are going to so... oh, man. some shacks. Yeah, so the enemies. Fail. Which enemies are you talking about, Dion? Uh, the enemies that are in the cave where City is. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> let's see. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's gonna wake them up. <laughs> I was going to wake them up. That's great. All right. So they are going to make attacks. They are going to miss, 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 miss. Miss crit. Okay. So that one is going to hit her. It's the worst alarm ever. Seven. Okay. So she's going to take a little bit of damage. And uh, now it is going to be... Uh, Seymour's turn. These ones are going to be looking for Finnebris. Unable to see him because they are in the darkness. A darkness. They are going to just like go for it. That are, that guy isn't going to go for it, but the other ones are. Uh, not see him. And the watcher is going to see what happened and then immediately turn his attention back to what's happening in front of him with Kaya and Amarcos. <laughs> Yeah. Just gonna look shocked. <laughs> ah! Oh god! Uh, I need happening? you to make me a deception check. <laughs> oh fuck! Okay. Let's so Marcos see how... is really good. You should give him advantage. <laughs> so that is a dirty twenty because I rolled a nine plus eleven. Yes, plus dirty 11. twenty. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> that would have been real bad. <laughs> yeah. He rolled a nineteen on his oh. insight. So, uh, you are just able to pull off the shock of what's happening. Um, 
And that brings us to Seymour. Seymour, it is now your turn. What do you want to do? Finny's hurting, dudes. Um, yes, he's fine. <laughs> he just needs to run. Why don't you call your dog back? Benny oh, will God, be, don't do that. But Benny will be in the fray die. and get rinsed. He should <laughs> just run, man. He's he served his purpose. Let him let him run. <laughs> He'll find his own way home. <laughs> Talking to my patrons of free action, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Finally. <laughs> hey, I did it my way, and it worked out okay. Um, <laughs> so, what do you want to say? Um, as Seema runs, oh fuck! <laughs> Shit! I don't know what a plan is. Um, oh fuck! Distract the watcher. Attack him or something. Maybe don't attack him, but you know, <laughs> cast a spell at him or something. Okay. <sighs> I'm playing distractions. So fuck it. Um, I am going to. I'm going to attack the watcher. Okay. Okay. Um, Do it. So yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. As I'm running, um, I'm going to uh, speak to Tinebris and just go, tell Finn to keep running, and then he's going to go and <laughs> go out and attack the Watcher. Uh, All right. Do I get any kind of advantage because he doesn't see me coming? Can I roll a stealth check or anything? I don't mm. mind. You can, da, 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 da. Um... Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you roll stealth, uh, just a flat stealth check to see if you can run up on him. Uh, that is not good. Uh, that is a nine. Okay. He rolled a eleven plus his uh, perception. Yeah, that is going to beat <laughs> your nine. So you won't get advantage on the attack, but you can attack him. That's fine. Uh, as I run up. Uh, my blade's going to go into uh, Crystal. I'm going to use Spirit Shroud, a bonus action, and I'm just going to hack away at him. All so, right. Uh, I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose Radiant Damage on this one. All right. Is that... Wait, hang on. Hmm. No, I'm doing Cold Damage, actually. Because I saw him do Spiritual Weapon. I'm like, hey, fuck off. That might be Radiant. So, yeah, I'm going to okay. do uh, Cold Damage. Uh, All right. Okay. Roll to attack. Uh, that is 18. 18. All right. Uh, that will hit him. I'm going to roll to see if it in the second one. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, that will also hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, okay. So the first... Make a con check. So, yeah. So the first time he, wo he's get wo he gets wounded. but no, He can... rolled a 20, so he he's will fine. not be wounded. Yeah. All right. That's cool with me. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. If you should still have Bardic Inspiration, right? Because 10 minutes haven't gone by yet. Yeah, yeah. I still have it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay right now. All right. Uh, so that is uh, 1d8. Where's my d8? So that's a d10. There we go. Shit. Okay. And that, the first one is uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll take that. And um, and an extra an extra one d eight. Um, that's so that's ten points of slashing damage and four points of cold damage on the first hit, and on the okay. on the second hit, it's eight points of slashing. All right, eight points of slashing damage. And six points of cold damage. Six points of cold damage. Uh, that's me done. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So I'll take him down to that. Sweet. Uh, let's see. On. Uh, he will use a legendary action against you. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot about those. You oh forgot? I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> just, he just is going to. 
can see. Uh, make a wisdom save for I me. I had a feeling. Oh, I have actually got like a plus to my wisdom save somehow. Plus one, 18. 18? Okay. That will pass, so you um... are not held in place by his gaze. That's good. Uh, let's see. Finibris is going to start running. And what is his speed? Oh, uh, 120 feet. His speed is not that good, but he does have uh, quite a bit. So he's going to move. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He is getting the H-E double hockey sticks out there. Nice. All right. Uh, and then we come back around to Kaya. Kaya, shit's wrapping up. So I can assume that the watcher is pretty distracted right now, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. That's a fair assumption. Can Kaya use her action to try and get whatever is Sir Marcos um, into the area of the, the bright light that she just saw. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can see, like, you can almost see it as, like, imagine the air is, like, sparklier. <laughs> On the Aww. other side, you can just, like, hop into the sparklier. Yeah, sure. She wants to help him up and try to drag him over there. Okay, uh, so your movement speed will be halved. Uh, I won't make you roll anything to like sling him up over your shoulder. Uh, so let's see, let's get him up beside you. So you guys can go five, 10, 15. And then if you want to dash as your action, you can mm -hmm. get inside. Um, so it'd be, whoops, five, 10, 15. And you are inside the hallowed zone. Cool, and then as a bonus action, I don't need my spell slots, right? Do I need my spell slots? I probably need my spell slots. She's gonna, she's gonna give him a second level healing word. Um, so he will heal. I am nervous. I'm going to turn into a skull. Uh, nine <laughs> points of healing. Okay, he'll take it. Looking much stronger. Uh, he says, "My sword. Have you seen my sword?" Um, kind of busy with other things right now, but I'll keep an eye out for it. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Um, okay. So that will be your turn. So next up will be City, who's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, City 30. City great time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And you see coming around the bend, uh, City with the, uh, with a figure, uh, the figure of which you can recognize as the warlock, uh, but whose face is like pale and red hair flying. Looks like she just woke up from a nap. Uh, it's a and very they cool are, art show. Yes, so it's cool. very awesome. <laughs> um, and they are gonna be charging down the path, bucket clanging. Um, <laughs> so dumb. You, you, see that, you see that Sybil is now the one actually holding the bucket. Uh, she's the one that has to stay in the hallowed space so the hallow moves with her um which is just gonna deal a bunch of damage to these people oh maybe my god finagress i'm so glad you're out <gasps> oh my god that would have <laughs> so the watcher <laughs> uh, the watcher uh yeah <clears throat> Uh, the the air moves forward, and uh, the watcher, uh, the mask burns away. Yeah. Uh, he's still alive, uh, but his his special powers are gone. Um, you also see immediately that the book on the altar begins to burn, um, and uh, is uh, very quickly destroyed. And um, the dagger begins to start, uh, it begins to rust immediately. Uh, oh, shame. And uh, all the red paint on the, on the stones like burns away um, and restores them. So uh, that's what they're doing. Uh, and you also see that city has like a bag uh, and you see armor is hanging out of it. And she also <laughs> has a sword on her side. Uh, 
Uh, and she's like, all right. Not, she's not Scottish. All right. It is, it's time to go. It's the we hollow spell. Um, That's a hollow spell. <laughs> that's a hollow spell. Um, yeah, she's like, no, it's it's time to get out. We have to we have to go now. Uh, and uh, let's see, that will be their turn. So now the enemies. Uh, he can no longer do that. So he's just going to try to inflict wounds as best he can on Seymour. So he's going to roll to hit Seymour ah, and see if he can. All right, so that's going to be a 10. It's going to be, what, plus four. So a 14, Miss. which I don't think is good enough to hit. Yeah. Okay, so he doesn't hit you with that. Uh, and that's all that he can do. Uh, the others are just freaking the flip out. Um, but this one is at least close enough that he can run up. Uh, do I see them because to... they're still in darkness? This one isn't. The other ones are. Uh, they're okay. engulfed in the darkness. That okay. one was on the edge of darkness. Uh, so he's going to attack real quick uh, and not do anything. God damn nothing. Oh, yeah. Right. So he's not going to hit anyone today. Um, which brings us to Seymour's turn. Seymour, we are bringing it home. Getting the fuck out. Getting the fuck out. All right. Uh, are you disengaging or are you just running? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to run. Um, All right. Did, He's going to take a swipe and miss on the way out. Damn it, I was hoping he'd hit me. That's fine. It's all no, good. Sorry. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to head down into uh, the darkness again. Uh, well, not for me. Did, did, now, question, this is totally up to you again. Did I see... Yeah. Um, uh, Finn like run through the gap on the left. So I know, yeah, like, you saw gone. him run past. Okay, I'm gonna be heading south on the map. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and okay. I'm just going peace. <laughs> That's it. I'm running. Does right, Kyle so you... see Seymour run? Yes, you see okay. Seymour run. Um, and I'll and Seymour... I'll whistle as well. Okay. Yeah, Seymour's Seymour's out. Seymour's gone. Peace. Uh, Finnabris also just pieces off the map, um, staying ahead <laughs> so of the fast. hallowed. Yeah, he's got 40 speed, so he's he's quick. Uh, let's see. So that leaves uh, Kaya and uh, the others. Uh, sorry, question, DM. Do we? Did we? Yeah. Was it established how long the Hollow spell would last? Ten minutes. It lasts until it's dispelled. Okay, so okay. if if Seymour knows about that and he saw that the sparklings going off, he's going to keep Finibris away from the entire group until it's dropped until it's dispelled he's out oh yeah finibris like he knows that that shit's gone so yeah yeah yeah, he's totally out good boy good boy and then (laughs) all right right. so kaya's being attacked uh but she's just going to try to run uh probably to the right just just run uh with sir marcos in tow she's not gonna let go of him so she'll go at half speed okay Uh, but that's the plan right now it's just kind of to run gtfo 10 15 (laughs) Uh, he actually seems bolstered by the hallowed spell. Um, so, uh, you got, you can actually move full speed. He's still going to be with you, but he's going to move full speed. So you guys can GTFO. Uh, do you also want to dash? Yep. We'll dash. All right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You have to head it out. Just These... picks up Kyer and oh. runs full speed. It sounded like, 15, 20, 20, sounded like you're offering, 30. do you want to go larger than that meal? Like, <laughs> 15, <laughs> sounded like that. 20. 25. Like a dessert. 30. Yeah. Uh, does, uh, not to fuck myself over, but does the cultist who was in melee range with us get an opportunity attack? He's only going to, he only has opportunity attacks on Sura Marcos, and he misses Sura Marcos. Um, okay. So that's going to be, um, let's see, that is going to move with you guys. Uh, and actually, Sybil, who still has some spellcasting ability. Fuck him up, Sybil. Actually, what is Sybil all to herself? That's right. Okay. Uh, so Sybil is going to do some shit. Um, <laughs> Let's go, Sybil. Sybil? Sybil? Sybil is going to make them make wisdom checks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that noise. 
Uh, yeah. Sybil like turns around for a minute um, and she just like exudes this aura that you just feel rolling off of her. It's like, it's that don't fuck with me energy. <laughs> I'm just like, don't. Uh, and you see all, all of the cultists that you can still see Kaya um, look fucking terrified yeah. of Sybil. Um, and so she turns uh, and she's like, let's get the fuck out. Um, and uh, none of them are gonna chase after you because they're all scared of Sybil. So you guys, uh, you guys clear out. Uh, you guys make it out of the forest. Uh, Good job. Let's Did that plan go, go off almost perfectly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost perfectly. You guys managed to execute that plan. If I got held, I'd have been fucked. <laughs> that was, if I didn't save that wisdom, my God. So, so you guys, you guys, uh, you run out of the forest uh, and you don't stop until you are back in Trio. Um, I'm, down. I'm just giving Finn all the pets on the way, like, because I know he yeah. got fucked up because of me. So yeah. I need to make sure he's not going to bite my hand off. Yeah, well, Finn is going to stay ahead of you because the the hallowed spell is still going I, I, I'm sort of sticking with him. I'm, I'm, I know when, we know where we're going to head back. So yeah, I'm sticking with Finn. Um, the last thing before we close out this session for the week, uh, spectacular though your escape from the forest was, uh, you all down in Skernabel have one order of business left. So my question for you, do you go to the nightshade? It's up to you, Snipe. What time of the day is it? Late afternoon, early evening. Uh, if you want to wait, there are things that Hattie want to do. Wants to do. Yeah. I do want to wait until night because it seems fitting for nightshade. <laughs> okay. Um, so while you all on screen about mull over what your next move is going to be, the folks in Triel escape from the Trialta Hills and head back to town. That is where we will conclude our adventure for this week. Oh yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Good job, guys. That was Hell yeah. so stressful. Oh, yeah. I think that was the most stressful session I've had. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> it was oh, a knife's edge the entire time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the 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 cult watcher, uh, his legendary actions are um, detect, which allows him to make a perception check, eye beam, which lets him fire uh, an Eldritch Blast, Stunning Gaze, which lets him cast Hold Person on anyone within 60 feet of him. And uh, as an action, he can grant um, all of his allies within a certain radius uh, advantage on perception and dark vision. Oh, that's so uh, sick. Okay, cool. Okay. <sighs> you did it, though. <laughs> you yeah. got out. Yeah. You got out. Um, awesome. See, oh, that was good. I actually uh, had a big okay. brain moment with my whistle, so I was quite happy about that. That was really great, yeah. <laughs> that was good. So, just so you know, uh, Finn was down to uh, down to eight hit points. <laughs> How many does he have? would have obliterated him. He has 34, so if he had gotten actually like mobbed again, he probably would have died. <laughs> um, did, you, did you know you guys have any HP? Or did, you, did like Seymour and Kyle lose HP? No. Also, I think Becca just disappeared. Yeah, no. Becca just yes. dropped. Uh, yeah. No. And I know that... Uh, yeah, I know. There's dinner to be had and stuff to do, so uh, we'll end it here. Uh, check out Crimson Petal on Sundays, which is a really cool show. Uh, on Wednesdays, you can check out I Roll Therefore I Am. Uh, and you can tune in next Saturday for more Road to El Trail. Also, special plug from Power Word Casual, uh, on Tuesdays, you can check out the Riverton Mystery Club, which is the game that I am running over there. Short short game uh, that I'm running over there. You can watch them fight Dire Elk. It was which is really good. It was really good session. to watch. Yeah, it was really fun. Fa fantastic yeah. to watch. If, if you like Maine, you'll love uh, Riverton Mystery Club <laughs> because all the players are from Maine. So uh, yeah. Um, so until next time, I hope you all have a good night and adventure on. I'm so glad we didn't die. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>